Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Rob. And recently, Johnny Gilbert and Hair Jordan came to visit. What are you doing? Ah! Ah, Robbie! Ah! And right now they're sleeping in the craftmas tree and I absolutely love having them over. So today I'm gonna give them their own rooms. Jordan Bresky, can Harry Jordan and Johnny Gilbert move in with us? Please, please, please. I mean, I, I guess so. We do have some extra guest room. <gasps> we do? Oh, Johnny. Oh, Johnny. Harry Jordan. Oh. Hi. Hi. What's up? Hey, we're both in here. Where's Johnny? There. Oh, there he is. Uh, there you got. Hey, how are you guys doing in here? We're fine. This is not the best place I've ever stayed. Mine's a little more comfy. I just wanted to tell you guys that uh, I actually decided that you guys can live with me. So uh, you're each getting your own rooms now. Yeah! You don't have to live in the, tr the tree anymore? You can stay in my guest rooms. Oh. Thank uh, you. Uh, I like you, the tree more. Well, you can stay in the tree if you want. Okay. That works out, honestly. Because I didn't want to give up a guest room for you. Anymore. I'll take it. I'll take the guest room. Okay, you get two rooms. Right, Come on, Chris. Great. Let's go. Let's go. So Johnny's going to stay inside the tree. Hair Jordan, come with me, buddy. All right, let's go. I'm so glad that you have this camera light because it just makes us look so ominous as I take you to your not ominous room. <laughs> Sounds ominous. Here, get in this room. This room? Oh, cool. You've moved all my stuff in already. Thank you. I did. You get your own room and I already Perfect. moved everything and I pre-lived in it and I went through all your things. Like, you dumped out like half my stuff. I just really wanted to make you feel at home. Th that way you weren't like... Oh, my things are still in their case, so I took them out, got them ready for you. Enjoy your room, buddy. Uh, I'm glad you're living with me. Now we're roommates. Yeah! This is gonna be a disaster. I'm excited. Roommates, we're the roommates together. Roommates, we're the roommates forever. Roommates, roommates. Here's another classic. The tape prank. He just walks right into the tape. Easy peasy, beautiful cover girl. What else do you need? Oh, this ought to do. We have our tape. It's perfect because you can barely see it. Let's call Chris. Oh, hair Jordan! Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, dude, come here, I need your help! Oh! Oh! Oh, what is this? You've been taped! Why would you do this? I'm back to my old ways, Chris. I have decided to prank you once again. You liar, get out of my room. Oh! A few moments later. I'm all good, I just tripped on this box of doorknobs. Here's another classic, the bucket prank. Just shove a bucket on your friend's head and they'll just never notice. He's out to get him. <laughs> he does it again! Looks like I gotta find myself a bucket. And preferably not a used one. <laughs> No. Dude, he totally did! Who else is here to do it? The dog didn't it was, do it. It's not me, bro. I, that was all you! Are you joking? Are you sick? Bro, are you okay? You've been pranked! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say this one works. It was actually me the whole time. Wow. 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 That's a good one. Nothing like gaslighting your friends. My boyfriend always pulls me around shops. Now my arm has come off. He really thinks he's holding my hand with confidence, LMAO. He's even smoothing it. Why hasn't anyone said anything? Now I'm left wondering if my hand feels like rubber. <laughs> okay, guys. So here's my fake hand. There we go. Now let's go try this one on the boys. Oh, hey guys, how is it going? Oh, it's good. going well. Pretty good. It's getting kind of dark, and um, uh, just something I wanted to let you guys know, as a roommate, I'm extremely scared of the dark, and uh, I need someone to hold my hand when I walk through the, the dark house. Well, I think you should do it, you're close to him. Will you hold my hand, Hair Jordan? Here, walk me through the house. Come on, let's go. Have fun, guys. I don't know what you're up to, do, but I'm not liking this. Don't worry, Chris, I'm not up to anything. Okay, this is not real because you have two hands. Why are you holding the camera with both hands? You're literally. You got me! Oh, don't worry, I saved the camera. Is Benj okay? Yeah, Benj is good. Oh. Are you good, dude? Yeah, I just, I just sort of fell. But yeah, it was a fake hand. You've been pranked. 
That fall looked real. Was that real? Yeah, that was a real that fall. That wasn't part of the prep. Oh. Uh, yeah, I actually fell. Um, I kind of, can you take me to the hospital? <laughs> Jesus, they go to the hospital for everything. Every little thing. Yeah, oh my God. Yeah, your leg's a little wonky. Let's go. Hot Rock Candy Frank on Hubby. Where do I get this thing? What is that? Is this a random tube they have laying around? Pop, pop. <laughs> I would be so confused. I'm just as confused as you are, dude. Okay, guys, so here are our Pop Rocks. In case you guys don't know about Pop Rocks, Pop Rocks are uh, made in Spain, distributed in the US by Pop Rocks Inc., Atlanta, Georgia. And we're about to put them in Chris's mouth, and they're gonna. And as advertised, you can really taste the explosion. And I really just want him to wake up with a. Oh, yes, get it ready. The perfect pouring apparatus. Oh, hey, Johnny. Hey, what's up? H have you seen Hair Jordan? I think he's sleeping in the Christmas tree. This is a perfect opportunity. Johnny, you wanna see something fun? Sure. Come on. Okay. I'm just gonna open this up. <gasps> oh. Okay. Yeah. This! This! I think he's choking. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Do you see this? He chased the explosion! Dude, I breathed it in, dude. Dude, do you hear that popping? That's a good prank. What? what is wrong with you? Did you help with this? No, I just watched it. Dude, he was behind the entire I thing. He was like, I would love to see this prank. And I it went up my nose, I breathed him in. Dude, I was killing ah. Johnny, what a jerk. How could you dude, prank Chris I like this? I didn't do it, you did it. It's in my nasal cavity. Dude, you've been oh. pranked. Don't stop saying that to me. Are you okay? <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. You've been pranked. Oh, yes, the fake tongue prank. Stab through your fake tongue. When they're looking away, just insert your fake tongue. And just stab right through. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Oh, you stabbed. You, what a dummy. And then just spit the tongue out of them. I've never seen that part done. Uh, that, that adds a whole new twist to this. I've done this prank about six times, but, you know, a seventh doesn't hurt. <sighs> okay, guys, so here is my fake tongue. Here's my toothpick. I'm going to go ahead and shove this bad boy in my cheek so they can't see it. <laughs> It tastes really bad. Okay, now I gotta call the boys in. Oh, roomies! Oh, you guys got here really quick. It's so fantastic having you guys so close to me. That way I can just call you in and just get your attention whenever I want. Yeah, it's amazing. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Chris Angel, I know you love magic and I have my own magic trick I'd like to show you. Here, I'm gonna pull out my tongue. Mm. Okay. Mm. Oh, nice. These are from toothpicks. Oh, okay. I think I've seen this one before. Are you guys right? Yeah. Yeah. What did you do to his tongue? It was a fake tongue the entire time, Chris Angel. You've been pranked! I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one half works. At least I got Chris Angel. Magic Magician Manual, I'm so glad that this actually worked on you and I hope you enjoyed my prank. That scared me, man. <laughs> you actually got hurt. Wait, really? Oh, Wait, no. no, dude. That's not funny. That's not funny. I guess it really worked. <laughs> vacuum prank on boyfriends. They just uh, vacuum them when they least expect it. Just vacuums up all of his drink. Oh my gosh, I would be so mad. <laughs> Oh my gosh. We should do a pink eye prank. I know. You want it for your channel? I just want to do it. I just want to do it. Ah! Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! It's stuck! It's stuck, bro! It's stuck! You stuck oh. the Guys, here is the hot iron prank on your friend. Uh, you just pretend like you're ironing, and then you're like, "Oh, hey, I'm gonna maim you with this uh, with this flat iron." Uh, oh my gosh, why would you do that to me? Oh, that hurts so bad. Honestly, I don't know how this is a prank. I don't think this is really that funny. But you know what? We're gonna do it because TikTok said it was okay, and uh, that's how we base our moral standards nowadays. So that's what I'm gonna. I guess I'm doing this. Oh hey Johnny, how is it going, my uh, friend? It's going fine. Just on my phone. What's up? Uh, nothing much. I'm just ironing my clothes. Uh, uh, do you want me to iron yours really quick? Oh no no no! Ah! Ah! 
on? What are you doing? It's not even on. It's not even on? No, it's not even why, plugged in, why see? You, why would you do this? You've been pranked! Dang it, man. <laughs> Hair Jordan will never see this one coming. <laughs> Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Oh, hey, Hair Jordan, how you doing? Good, what, what are you doing, what are you up to? Oh, uh, nothing, I'm just ironing my clothes! <laughs> no, 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 You good, bro? Are you good? Good. It wasn't even on. See, the cord's right here. That's fantastic, I'm so glad to hear I didn't get burned. You've been pranked! <laughs> Did you see where my sock went? I literally lost this sock. Oh my god. down the stairs. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely yeah. works. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Ruby. This is my craft corner. And today I'm gonna be trying some spooky VFX Halloween makeup by Five Minute Crafts on my emo friends. Let's see what we're doing first. Okay guys, so our first volunteer is Johnny Gilbert. Are you ready to have your neck sliced open? Honestly, yeah. With makeup, with oh. makeup I mean. So the first thing we're gonna need is some liquid latex. A boo bitty boo Then we uh, carefully apply the liquid latex to Johnny's neck. And then we grab some tissues. Then we carefully rip these bad boys apart. We only need a single ply. Just carefully just apply this to his neck. Add the next layer of tissues. And then we just kinda keep repeating that process until we have something thick enough. So the latex is now nice and dry. We're gonna go ahead and cover it up with some foundation. Where's this concealer? I don't know. I'm not a beauty guru. I'm a craft guru, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and blend it in. This is looking pretty good. It's a little wrinkly for my taste, but you know what? Not bad. Add a little bit of finishing powder. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of the setting spray. Now I'm gonna go in and be really careful and start cutting. Are it. you ready for the first incision, Johnny? I'm a little scared. Uh, just don't move. So scared. That's not skin, right? I don't even know, dude. <laughs> Yikes, I'm scared. I ended up using a fork because using scissors seemed really scary for this part. There we go. We did it. Okay, so now you have your regular mask and you have your neck mask. Hello, I'm Johnny Gilbert. Why does it sound like Toby? Yeah, Robbie. Why does it sound like Toby? Uh, I don't know, Toby. Uh, Get out of here. So now we're gonna go ahead and color it in a little bit. So I think I'm gonna do some black inside of here. The trick to really selling blood is to putting a little bit of black in there and really just texturizing everything a little bit. Add some more bloody red inside. For this, I'm just using kind of like this uh, cheap palette from Amazon. I'm actually gonna add just a little bit of latex up here. Like that. And then I'm gonna push it together to help kind of hold the latex up. I'm gonna pull this little flappity flap back up a little bit. That looks crazy. That looks scabby. And now we're gonna add some thick Blood. Just really add all the finishing touches. And this is how it turned out. What do you guys think? I think it looks good. That looks really cool, that actually. It looks really sick, dude. Does it look realistic? Makeup's not completely accurate, like with the skin color, but besides that, this looks very gross. Here, you want to show some of the boys? Let's go show some of these boys. But before we do that, I'm adding a little bit of makeup and fake blood to this axe. Just to really sell it, you know? Perfect. Okay, guys, this is the Johnny slit open his neck prank. Let's do this. Oh my god, guys! Me and Johnny were playing with my axe, and I accidentally sliced open his neck! Whoa! What? This is video effects! This is my own personal makeup. None of this is even oh real. Do you think it would look better on you? No. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs> okay, guys, you've seen this guest before. My roommate, Hair <laughs> Jordan! We've been roommates for about six months now, but now I'm gonna be doing your makeup. Thanks for volunteering for this. It's definitely not a prank. <laughs> I believe that 100%. <laughs> Okay, Chris, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna put your hair up. I know your hair, Jordan, but you're gonna be bald, Jordan, right? Oh, no! Bald, Jordan, dang it. My arch nemesis. Whoa! We're all good to go. Yeah! So the first step 
step to this is I'm gonna have to add some liquid latex to exactly half your face. Add the liquid latex yes. to your face. Dude, I love liquid latex. Okay, then apparently we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves some oatmeal. I'm not sure how they expect me to do this. Clean your head back a little bit. Now we're gonna carefully add Oh, that's not sticking at all. <laughs> I feel like push it on. Dude, did you wait too long? Did it dry already? I think it might have dried. It feels dry. It dried the time it took me to explain what I was gonna do. You're right, this does smell. It's so not good. Oh, that, that's working so much better. Mm, good. And here, Jordan, I wouldn't worry about the mess because the intern is gonna be here tomorrow to clean all this up. So. Love that guy. This smells so bad. Mm. I know, I'm really sorry. Chris, you are putting a lot of trust in me and oh. I actually really appreciate that. Okay, try opening your eye. Oh, a, is it open? You can see, right? Honestly, I think you glued my eyeshadow. Up, but this is better. This is as good as it's gonna get, bro. Then I'm gonna go in and grab some scar wax. Ah, uh, boobity boo. There we go. I don't really get the whole point of the scar wax, but I guess it looks okay. So now I have to try and cover all this oatmeal in green paint without knocking it off. I'm gonna try my best, but I don't know how well this is gonna. I think I'm gonna use different paint. Oh, that's nice. That's like a mossy green. Yeah. This looks more like what we're going for, too. It's perfect. Dude, this feels so weird. I bet. You have oatmeal and latex and green weird paint this, on your face. This is what I imagine a lizard feels like with like a bunch of scales. <laughs> like an armor, you know what I mean? Like lizards that have armor. I could totally see that. She is frosting that way I could eat it if it gets in my mouth. Oh my god, 100% <laughs> edible makeup! I should have done that! Take her face. So yeah, this is looking pretty crazy right now. On the other side, I'm gonna go ahead and add this stitch. And I'm not talking about Lilo and Stitch. This looks like a good spot to really just put a bunch of latex on Chris's face. I think he's really enjoying this latex all over his face, and I can really tell. <laughs> Maybe I should have put it on the actual stitch and not his face. You know, poor kid, no los dos. Now we're gonna carefully apply it to Chris's face. There we go. Oh yes. Wow. It's looking pretty good. This blends into your face perfectly and no one will ever tell the difference in the different colors of your skin. You're welcome. Just kidding, I'm gonna put some concealer on this. I'm just gonna get some foundation that I don't actually have. Yeah, that's not gonna work. This is what I do. I just cake it all on my face. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a while. Just rest you. Just rest your eyes. Rest your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a little bit of blending. Maybe that'll help. This is the good stuff right there. Oh, that is the wrong color. Uh, you know, it's okay. There we go. Oh no, I got it on your shirt. I'm sorry. It's okay. So I just figure if I put it on the rest of your face, maybe it'll just completely blend in. I'll redo all your makeup when I'm done. Okay. You guys are about to see what Chris looks like. Just a plain face with no makeup at all. This is his everyday beauty look. Guys, if you like this makeup, make sure to give this video a big old thumbs up. It looks something like this and you can find it right down there. If you guys want me to do more makeup videos, let me know down in the comments down below. And I might actually just do them. And I'm just gonna blend it all in. Hopefully this looks fine. What do you guys think? Am I the next James Charles or what? I don't know about that. <laughs> You're pretty good though. Then we're gonna add a little bit of blood to the initial wound. Like you just sewed it up yourself. Now we're gonna go in and add a little bit of fake blood. Very carefully with the tiniest little brush. You understand? Just really get it right inside your gash wound. Your human side is a little bit broken and then we have the true self that you perceive yourself to be. I'm gonna add a little bit of setting spray just to really sets everything into place. So now we're gonna add some of this purple slime onto the green part of his face. Whatever you say, Robbie. Oh, oh gosh. Ah, yeah, I ruined my shirt. Just let me just okay. really just get it all over your face. This is gonna feel really mm -hmm. strange for a moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is an experience, dude. You need to experience this sometime. Okay, okay. so now that we have slime absolutely everywhere, all mm -hmm. over my hands, all over the camera, all over hair, Jordan, I think it's time for you to put your hair down okay. and really just immerse yourself in the swamp monsterness. Okay. Oh, oh yes, Super Saiyan! Oh my God, he's super. Ah, it's, not, it's not my mouth. Can you get it out? Oh, ooh, ooh. whoa! This looks really cool. Okay, so now we can completely see your face, and you look absolutely horrid. But this turned out absolutely fantastic. I really like the slime monster creature with the gash on your face. You have your human side, and you have your swamp monster side, and it looks absolutely fantastic. But let's see what everyone thinks about Chris's new look. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so we're gonna have Chris go hide in the closet and I'm gonna have everyone come in and he's gonna scare everyone. You ready for this, buddy? Yeah. Okay, get in the closet. Oh, oh my gosh, everyone come in! Guys, I can't find Hair Jordan anywhere. Have you seen him? Where's Hair Jordan? I haven't seen him all day. Go! 
Guys, this you. isn't a swamp monster. Uh, it's Hair it's Jordan. Me. It's just me. It was a prank all along. It was Hair Jordan the entire time. Why does he look so gross? What did you do to him? I gave him epic swamp monster makeup, and doesn't it look absolutely fantastic? It's pretty good. Pretty scary. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one actually works. Yay. This is a good one. So up next, we have my friend Ren. I'm gonna be turning her into Horline. I don't really know what this is supposed to be, but it's like a blue haired rag doll. So the first thing we're gonna do is actually give her some contacts. Up, 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 there we go. And now she has hitch black eyes. The next thing we're doing is adding some blush. I got my fancy blush brush here. It's specially made just for makeup and only makeup. Okay. I did a really bad job on the blush. I think I need a different blush brush. Here we go, this one doesn't even have a handle. Oh, perfect. That was solid, I am so sorry. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, oh, blend it out. Better. Blend it out a little bit. The next thing we have to do is add freckles. I don't have any mascara, but I have this face paint and a little fork. I'm just gonna go ahead and dip the fork right in the makeup and just hope that this works. It's kind of working. You have very straight lines on your face now. I think I'm gonna have to use this for freckles in the future. Fork method. You know, Ariel uses it to comb her hair, and we're using it to apply freckles. That's a multi-use tool right there. And I feel like I need to blend this in a little bit. No, that was not the move. That was definitely not the move. It's staying like that. You just have extra dark freckles. It looks great. I missed the blush on the nose. I definitely went way overboard with the freckles, but that's okay. It's a good doll look. Now we're gonna give her some pink lipstick. Just a fair warning, I've always been really bad at applying lipstick. This isn't even real lipstick. This is just face paint again. There we go. Looks pretty good. That honestly turned out a lot better than I thought. Oh no, we have some on her teeth. Now I have to go ahead and give her the stitches. That is not very clean. I thought I could make it a little bit thinner, but I guess not. This is the thinnest I can draw with paint. Now we're just gonna go ahead and scoot on to the other side. The next, we're gonna grab some of these tissues and a little bit of latex. And then I'm gonna put some latex on her cheek right here. Put some of the tissue. More latex, more tissue, even more latex. Maybe one more layer of tissue. <laughs> then we let this dry for a little bit. A few moments later. So now I have to carefully cut open her lip. Don't worry, I have done this four times now, so you have nothing to worry about, Ren. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Very clean. Next, we're gonna get some concealer. I'm supposed to use foundation for this, but you know, I feel like concealer would just work a little bit better. And already, I'm sort of regretting putting this blush and the, the freckles on already. I think that should have been like the last step, if I'm being totally honest. I'm just staying true to the Craft. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and touch up some of her makeup really quick. Looks good. Now we're gonna go ahead and add a little bit of liquid latex inside the scar and grab a little bit of cotton wool. I'm gonna use cotton balls. I think it might be the same thing. I'm not quite sure. Just stick it right in there. And now I'm gonna carefully stitch up her lip. Five Minute Crafts only did one stitch, but I think I'm gonna stitch up half of her face. Okay, that looks about good. Booty boo. And they just kind of left the needle in there. I definitely have mixed feelings about this one in terms of safety, but I definitely think it looks really cool. Okay, guys, and this is how it turned out so far. Now we just have to add some of the final touches. We're giving her blue hair. It only makes sense to give her blue eyebrows. Eyebrows are, well, you know, kind of eyebrows. I de I'm close enough, okay? Next, the blue wig. Gonna put on the hairnet first. Pull this down. Carefully pull it back up, making sure not to get it on the needle. Now it's on your eyes. Oh, God. I messed up. I messed up. Maybe I should have done this one first. First. I'm starting to regret my decisions, guys. Successfully messed up her makeup a little bit, and I have to redo it. Great. I'm kidding. <laughs> Hairnet is in place. So I'm gonna attempt to put on this wig. Guys, to be honest, I've never actually properly put on a wig before. Glad to be the experiment. I'm guessing it's like this, just like that. And now you're me. Twins! I'm gonna go ahead and brush this out a little bit. Are you supposed to brush wigs? I have no idea. So we gotta watch out for this needle. Just for safety reasons, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tip of this needle. Oh yeah, now you don't have a sharp object on your face. And last but not least, guys, the button. Carefully just stick this onto your eye. You have to try and hold it on. They didn't use any adhesive or anything. Does that mm -hmm. stay? Yep. And there we go, guys. This is how it turned out. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments down below. I think it looks nice. Yeah, you think I did a good job? I think so. Oh, oh. <laughs> oops. Let's see what the girls think. Oh, Tori Dabransky! <laughs> Bench? You're not Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Luna Ghostess! Come in here! I have something to show you! Yes? I made Ren into a living doll. What do you guys think? Ooh! Oh, it's so cool, Robbie. Good job. Excited. We're all just gonna switch all around. <laughs> Is your button gonna? <laughs> it looks so oh, good. Wow, it's so creepy. That looks so cool. Do you guys like the stitching? In yes, you? that's what I wanted to look yeah. closer at. The button is not a fan of staying. You see, it seems to fall off whenever she moves at all. <laughs> anyway, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. <laughs> Oh 
Alrighty guys, so for this one, I have my friend Luna here. And I thought she would be perfect for this one because she already has black and green hair. She's a perfect embodiment of a monster. By the way guys, monster is my favorite energy drink, so do with that what, what you will. Anyway, do you want one? Yes. Uh, yes, and cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Oh yes, it reminds me of the warp tour. So I think the first thing that we're gonna do is give her some green clothes and green eyes. There we go, a perfect base. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try and replicate this logo onto her face. I'll start from the left and then make my way to the right. I'm sorry if my drawing skills are awful. I'm a crafter, not a drawer. Just so you know, I never claim to be good at drawing. You think the fact that I stare at this monster can every day, I'd really know how this thing is shaped. I think you're doing pretty good for not being a drawer guy. Thanks. Yeah. Perspectives are really weird. We got this, don't worry. Looks good so far. This one's a little crooked. <laughs> a warning would have been cool. Oh, sorry. And last one. Okay, now I'm gonna attempt to really fill this in. As someone who does makeup all the time, I'm sure you're gonna cringe how I do makeup. It's close, it's close. Maybe a little bit more. She had it more like over her whole nose. Now I have to go ahead and add the black outline to the monster logo and make it really pop. Okay guys, and this is how it turned out. What do you think, did I do a good job? I think it looks pretty similar. I think it looks really good. That's fantastic. So it looks like the one thing we're missing is some devil horns. Oh wait. We just take down your palm tree. I got this. <laughs> this is how all the cool kids are doing it now. <laughs> wow. Wait, I did your hair the wrong way. Here, can you shake it? I do it like this. What if we use this to I'll let you put it off? That looks pretty good. It covered up a little bit of the monster logo, but this looks pretty fantastic in my opinion. Opinion. Okay guys, we're gonna see what Tori Dobransky and our friend Ren think, okay? Come in guys! <laughs> it's midnight and I woke Tori Dobransky up from a dead sleep. Get in here, Tori Dobransky. So what do you guys think? God. Did I do a good job? Wow, well, uh, not, not too bad. He freehanded it. Oh my god. Wow. That's wow. why I was like, wow. That's amazing. I think this one, this little doodly do, whatever that is, is a little crooked towards the bottom. But okay. I think I did pretty good besides that. I think so sure. too. Yeah. It really brings out the monster in you. <laughs> okay, guys, everyone ready for a monster crash? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good night, guys. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we have yet another episode of Trying Spooky VFX Halloween Makeup by 5 Minute Crafts by my emo friends! And the intern. Uh, I don't know if he counts as emo. Let's do this! turned into Smiley right now. Are you ready to become Smiley? Yeah, hopefully it's better than the actual movie. I liked it. I have it on DVD. Do you want to put up your own hair or do you want me to put I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, that's great. Okay. I look good like this. I'm not gonna Honestly, lie. now you can see that profile. 10 out of 10. So the first thing we're gonna need is some tape. This is sports tape, as Walmart calls it. There we go. One eyebrow. Oh, I see. I yeah, so You're there you genius. go. Now we're just gonna add the tape all across his face. <laughs> For the eye holes, what I'm doing is I'm putting tape and I'm holding it in half. And then once I have a nice piece of tape that's not sticking to anything, I fold that in half and cut little eye slits. I think this one might be a little too big. Oh, actually, it looks pretty good. I'm sort of taping your mouth shut. This is the last bit that Johnny's ever like gonna say. Subscribe. Oh, guys, Johnny's last words were like and subscribe, so let's do it for Johnny. Just remember, don't cover your nose holes. You need to breathe. This is the face I've always wanted. Okay guys, this is how Johnny's face looks so far. It's just completely covered in tape. Now the next thing we're supposed to do is cover his face in face paint, but I don't have any flesh colored face paint. So I'm just gonna use this foundation instead. Let's see if this works. Oh, I think we'll be good. I'm gonna use this sponge instead. Okay, now I'm gonna put on some finishing powder, put a little bit of setting spray, a little bit of wind. That is now all dry. And now I'm gonna get some red paint and just kind of fill in his eye holes. I'm gonna do the blood in the mouth too. Now we're gonna make your eye slits. Yeah, so I'm not really a big fan of how this turned out, so we're gonna put some latex on this to give it some extra texture and really make it creepy looking. Oh yeah, it smells horrible. Okay, that's looking a lot better in my opinion. Now we're gonna let this dry and hopefully it'll clear up a little bit and then I'm gonna reapply even more makeup. Woo! It's kind of uneven. <laughs> I didn't even, here, look at me. 
Oh my gosh. That's not my Oh fault. my, okay. 12 seconds later. That's way better. Okay. So now I'm gonna add some fake blood to really make this thing look really scary, really realistic looking. I think that looks really good. Yeah? You like it? I like it a lot more than it was looking. This is looking so crazy. Oh my gosh. I think I did a really fantastic job with this. Now let's go scare the boys. Hey guys, how's it going? It's going good. Hey guys, I got a surprise for you. Really? Surprise? Here's Johnny! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think? Are you, is he okay? If you're in trouble, blink twice. Oh wait, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous, dude. That looks really good. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I don't think anyone wants to be my friend. John Gilbert, are you good, my man? <laughs> okay, everyone, are you ready for a very special guest? Someone you've never seen before? Someone who's never been on this channel? Hi. It's the intern. So today we're gonna be making it look like you're really just getting super annoyed and you're peeling your skin off. You're just like, oh! The first step to making it look like you peeled your skin off is put your hair up. We're gonna be giving you a palm tree today. I hope you don't mind my lice, Robbie. What? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. And then we're gonna remove these dumb glasses. Oh. You honestly look better without them anyway. I can't breathe. You couldn't read either way, so it's fine. <laughs> So the first step here, guys, I'm gonna be covering your face with tape like I did with Johnny in the last part. I look like Mr. Clean. Yeah, just go ahead and take that lip ring out for me, buddy. And now that the intern's face is completely covered, we're gonna apply some latex. So this is gonna require about six layers. Guys, I kind of messed up and I... <laughs> I can't open my freaking eye. I can't open it. Robbie! My eye! Six and a half hours later. Bro, you gotta buy me fake eyelashes after this. <laughs> you know what? I'm just taping your eye off. I'm gonna go ahead and tape your mouth shut, and definitely not because I want you to stop talking. Okay, Mikey, are you ready for the fun part? Part where I have to cut this off. <laughs> Okay, so the intern can now see, and look at this strong chin. And now I'm gonna go ahead and cut open your mouth a little bit. Wow, th ah, I, I think this is your new look, intern. I hate this. And now you are successfully free. You can talk and see all you want. Come here and give the intern a big old kiss, Robbie. Oh, gross. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some foundation. A boobity boo. Oh, that's scary. How well this is truly working, actually. The goal is to make it really just look like this is your real skin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and color in some of the intern's lips with some lipstick. Hook her up, intern. Oh, yes. Let me fully voluptuate your lips. All the lady interns are gonna love it. This looks great, Robbie. Okay, so now that we have this done, we're gonna go ahead and peel off his face. Ooh, are you ready for something super satisfying? Ah! Yeah, that feels pretty good. There you go. And here is the intern's face. It looks just like the intern. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, put this off to the side for a second. Now I'm gonna do the second part of your makeup. Are you ready? No. Okay, that's fair. So all we really gotta do is get some red face paint and just get it all over your face. It doesn't have to look great because you're a bloody corpse. And since when do bloody corpses look good? Maybe in the classic movie. What? He's a strawberry. I'm a strawberry. Oh, no, I'm a strawberry. And now we're gonna add a classic fake blood. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> Ew, it's on me. Paint me like one of your French boys, Robbie. You're just squirting it on me too. This isn't really getting the consistency that I want. That's why we're gonna get some of this sticky, icky blood. Oh, that's so much better. Look at that. It's actually sticking. It's not grippy. It's sticky, icky, and it feels disgusting. Hey, Vicky, you're so, so icky. Honestly, I would have went with latex, but it's okay. You know, this was your personal choice. Uh, so gross. <laughs> Doesn't even look like fake blood. It just looks like black goo. I'm just gonna get this paintbrush and really just... Oh, yes. That, oh. That's what we're going for. This is so gross. And the best part... <laughs> You don't like the fake blood? No, of course I don't. All right, next time we do this, I'm just gonna rip off the layer of my skin on top of my face to make this 10 times easier, okay? I'll just actually rip off my skin. Here you go. Oh, that works so much better. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing with the inside of this mask. Okay, guys, and here it is. This is the inside of its face. It looks really gross. We're just gonna stick it back on. 
and it looks fantastic. Oh, but we forgot the best part. We're supposed to actually cut it so that it looks like it's supposed to be the top and the bottom of his face. There we go. Yes. You look absolutely intense. Ah, I'm so scary. Here we go. so much more beautiful on the inside. Oh my god. So that's the top half. Here, you, I'll, I'll just let you hold that. Hold that for me. Now what's behind door number two? Are you ready? Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Well guys, this turned out really creepy and I'm gonna have to say that it absolutely works. I hated this so much. This sucks. Hey, Andrew, can you help me move the craft corner now? I'll get onto that. Let me just wash my hands. Oh, this better have been worth it. <laughs> I can't get it off. I'm just saying it's better have been worth it. I'll be like this for a whole week. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> Oops. I'll see you guys at my new place. <laughs> Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna need is a pillow. Any pillows over here? Oh, pillows! Hey, I'm looking for a pillow. Looking for a pillow! Oh, this one should do. I'm also gonna need some candlesticks. As well as some saran Oh, the last ingredient. A Tori Dabransky. Get over here. Oh no! I need you for a craft. Okay. Delivery! We got a Tori Dabransky. Hello? Well, we don't need this anymore. Okay hey guys, now that we have our perfect little canvas, we're gonna go ahead and have a little bit of fun. We're gonna put her hair up. That way we can get it all out of the way. This is really hard to do while you're dancing. What do you mean, Robbie? How our dance flows through me. Do you wanna get up and dance? I don't. It does not flow through me that well. <laughs> okay, never mind. So are you ready for this next part, Tori? I'm gonna get saran wrap and I'm gonna put it all over your head, okay? Why? Because this is how you do it. What can we use like a wig cap? Because uh, this is, we're, <sighs> We're just being true to the craft, okay? I feel like you've missed some parts of my hair. Don't worry about it. We'll get to that. Wait, do I light the candles before or after I try and attach them to you? How about neither? I think I'm supposed to do it before, but I think I need to cut these down just a little bit. What do you mean? One second, I'll be right back. I just need to break up my saw. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these bad boys with my table saw. This is an everyday activity. People do this all the time. And now we have perfectly cut candlesticks. They're the perfect size, you see. Now I just gotta figure out how to get them on her head. Sorry, Bransky, I have a very important job and I need you to hold this just like this. So I have no idea how the heck they got them to stick. Oh, wow. That's actually sticking quite well. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna take these on. I'm gonna put a pillow on my head. Something so. like that. Is that what we're doing here today? Oh my God. Wait, no, come back. I, I have the tool for you. No, no, no. No. He didn't use my scissors. We're just gonna take some of this pillow stuff in and we're just gonna smack it right on your head. You look like a cloud girl. I think we're supposed to now put some hot glue on your head. Bobby, I have a question. Yeah. Is this going to set my head on fire? We'll find out. I just somehow tap these to her head while working around this pillow. So there we go. You now have another candle. I'm just gonna add the other ones really quick. How are you liking this? We need more layers. A good cloud girl has layers. So I'm brushing out your cloud hair. Okay, Tarta Brands, what do you think of your brand new hairstyle? I look great. Okay guys, now there's one more step before we're done. Now, I have to cover her face all in white. This step is really important because she's supposed to be a candle ghost girl. Woo! Okay, Tarta Bransky, now I need you to switch into this shirt. Okay, let's, let's go. Six and a half hours later. Hey, are you guys ready for the big reveal? <laughs> it turned out pretty good. You can't really see her candles very well. I'm gonna go ahead and light those on fire really quick. Oh, please help me. <laughs> okay, Jordan Bransky, are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jordan Bransky. Happy birthday to you. You are a class. Okay, I need you to sing me happy birthday so I can blow you out. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. Happy birthday. Tell him I can't. You gotta hurry up. Happy birthday, dear Robbie. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> oh man, I gotta do it again. I forgot to make a wish. You joking? <laughs> I'm gonna have to say that this costume is a complete success. It 100% works. Tartabransky, how do you feel about this costume? 
give it a zero <laughs> out of any number. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks like this fight right down there. Bobby, my face is still red. It's been a month. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Stop, this isn't funny. You're always laughing at this. You did this. <laughs> you guys know what else is red? That subscribe button. You guys should hit that subscribe button. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again next Saturday. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. I'm gonna My name is Robbie. And lately, the intern's just been misbehaving again. If you guys want to know what I'm talking about, make sure to watch the last video. You can watch it right here, down description below. I don't want to talk about how I got out of there. It was a crazy situation, I'll tell you that. So I thought this would be a fantastic opportunity for me to try some fantastic life hacks from the video. Cheap summer hacks. Best ideas for crafty parents. By good old five minute crafts. Look guys, I'm not saying that five minute crafts is perfect, but if this video got 31 million views, I think that these hacks have to be onto something. So let's try some parenting hacks, shall we? Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my brand new reaction room. This is where I'm gonna be reacting to all the clips beforehand now. I also made a whole new channel called Robbie Reacts where I react to things every single day. If you guys wanna subscribe to it, you can click right here or down description down below. Let's check out the first craft. So here's an easy way to make a DIY play pit using something you probably already have, a blow up pool. All you gotta do is blow that bad boy up and put all your kids' toys in it. There you go. It will keep them entertained for hours. Nice and contained. This will be great for the intern. Oh, hey, intern. How's it going now, buddy? It's going good. So I'm just doing my work. So I think that you should have your own little area. That way you can sit and dance and prance and play with your, all your little toys. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> One second. I'll be right back. <laughs> Robbie, why'd you throw that? Here you go. This is going to be your new hangout spot, buddy. Dude, that's a pool. I'm fine on the couch. It's okay. Here, I'm going to move this chest. <laughs> I'm just gonna put this pool right here for you. One second, I'm gonna add some toys. But why do I need toys? These puppets should do nicely. Get in there, intern. No, do I have to? Yeah, get, get in there. Oh, get in there. Get in there. On the floor. This is all your dedicated area now. You can play and you can hang out and you can do whatever you want in this little circle. Dude, I'm not a kid. I don't need puppets to have fun. This is dumb. Look, intern, this is your new spot now, and I think you're really gonna love it. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna love it. This is absolutely stupid. You're treating me like a kid again. Okay, intern. Well, you stay there. You be a good little intern. I'll see you later. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Can you go now? <laughs> so here's how you child proof some doors. So what you're gonna wanna do is get some Tupperware and just cut two slits in the Tupperware top. Put the Tupperware top on the doorknob, spin that bad boy on, nope. and it's unaccessible to the child. It sure looks child proof, but is it intern proof? Okay, so I didn't have any Tupperware that I really felt like destroying, so we're gonna use this mixed nuts jar. Let's go ahead and take off the cap. Bibbidi boop. And now we're gonna break out our giant knife. Let's go ahead and make a little slit. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that did not work very well. Maybe this wasn't the correct tool for the job. I'm also thinking that maybe this lid was not the right tool either. But we'll try this anyway. I'm sure this will work. It looks just like the original craft. Let's go try this bad boy out. Bibbidi boop. And just, uh. Okay, yeah. I, uh. <laughs> I guess that'll work. The intern will never be able to. Will never be able to get into that. I can't even twist the doorknob as it is. It's working great. Oh hey intern, how you doing there, buddy? As miserable as ever. Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, you can absolutely go to the bathroom. That is inside my house, outside of the craft corner. Yeah, that's where the bathroom is. Yeah, so uh, yeah, go for it. Don't worry, intern. Go straight through the exit door. You know, just do your thing. Oh, what the heck? How'd you do that, intern? What? What? Oh my god. Okay, don't uh, follow me into the bathroom, Robbie. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. Just didn't work. I wasted a perfectly good mixed nuts lid. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. <sighs> okay guys, it's been a good 20 minutes since I checked up on the intern. How you doing, buddy? What well, the heck? I found some cookies beside the toilet while I use the bathroom. Oh, really good, Robbie. How the heck do you find my secret stash? Intern, what the what are you doing? Why are you taking them away from me? These are my cookies, intern. I don't know how the heck you found these. I have these hidden very well, actually. I think I have an idea of how I can fix this. So is your kid just always sneaking candy when you're not looking?
looking. Look at her. She just ran off with all of them. What the heck? So what you're gonna want to do is pour out all the vegetables out of your vegetable bag and just put all the candy inside of it. And now you just hide it with the candy and when your kid goes to look for it, they're gonna be like, where the heck is all my candy? And they're gonna be mad and they'll never know. Honestly, this is perfect. The first things first, I'm gonna have to take a little trip to my garage. <laughs> Now we have to go through another secret door. Oh yes, the freezer I was looking for. Let's see. I think these carrots ought to do. Oh hey, what's that behind your ear? <laughs> it's a giant chunk of carrots. Well, don't need this anymore. <laughs> So now that we have our carrots bag, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my Girl Scout cookies and just shove them right in there. In retrospect, I should have probably dried off the bag a little better, but you know what? It'll be fine. And now we have a perfect little bag of carrots and the intern will never find this again. Oh, hey intern, don't mind me. I'm just grabbing my bag of frozen sliced carrots and putting them in the fridge. That's gross. Yeah, you don't want these. They're terrible for a little intern. I don't think you'd like them in the slightest. I don't, but can I have my cookies back? I ate them all and they were never yours to begin with. Anyway, anyway don't touch my frozen sliced carrots. I'll see you later. They were... Dude! 12 seconds later. What's in here? The freaking cookies? Bro, he thinks he can hide these cookies from me? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna eat them all now. No, I'm gonna be taking away a little fun and enjoy what I have in my life. Dang, bro. Oh. Hey, intern, how's it going, buddy? Hey, Robbie. I mean, it's going as best as it could be right now, considering I'm in a kiddie pool playing with poppets. Well, I'm just here for my first... Where the heck are my frozen carrots? Not stupid, Robbie. You were hiding something from me. It was the cookies. Do I have a frozen carrots? They were cookies. You were hiding them from me. Adrian, what the heck? Those were my special cookies. I had them hidden from you. I hid them twice. Once in the little toilet thing, and then once in the fridge in my frozen carrots. Adrian, you're driving me crazy. And your hair, it's also driving me crazy. But it's okay, because I know a hack for that. Stop pulling my hair. <laughs> okay, guys, so here's a quick and easy way to do your kid's hair really quick. All you gotta do is grab them by the hair, just like that. Pull them up and then just have them spin around. Boom! Nicely woven hair. The perfect little space bun. This one's beautiful and I think I need to try this one out. Okay, intern. First off, I'm gonna have to take all your hair and put it up into a ponytail just like this. Oh, Robbie, this isn't a makeup video. Why? It's okay. I have the ultimate man bun technology. Oh, Robbie, you're always pulling my hair in these videos. And now we just gotta give you a little spin. Okay, guys, are you ready for the big reveal? I'm not. I'm gonna let it go. You ready no. for me to let it go? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see if it holds. <laughs> that didn't hold at all. Well, guys, I guess that hack actually didn't work. I'm sorry, in turn, enjoy your newfound voluptuous hair. I'll see you later. Yo, what up, intern? You've been good for a little bit. What you up to? You're just the guy I was looking for. I'm playing with this poppet, but I do have this day that I need some help taking off. Intern, what the heck? When did you do that? That's disgusting. It was when I tripped and fell, remember? Intern. Oh, hey, intern. It's time for lunch. Yes, come on. I made you your favorite. A meatloaf sandwich. Meatloaf sandwich is golly. That is my favorite. Come on. Hey, let's go. Ah. My leg was asleep and I think I just did my elbow. Oh my god, intern, come on. Here, come with me to the craft corner. I'll fix you right up. Let's go. Okay, intern. Oh, okay, just sit down. It's okay. Calm down. It's okay. It's all good. Ready? I have the solution for this. A single band-aid. Yes, this should fix it quite nicely, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that right on there. There you go, intern. You're good as new. Thank you so much, Robbie. It feels a lot better. No problem, buddy. Okay, just make sure to clean that out every once in a while, rebandage it, and you'll be good, okay? I don't care. Can we eat some meatloaf sandwiches now? Yeah, let's go eat some meatloaf sandwiches. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> intern, that was over a month ago. I told you to make sure it was clean and replace the bandage, remember? Well, it really hurt taking off the band-aid, so I just kind of left it like that. <sighs> can you help me take it off? Yeah, I can. I think I have a life hack for that. So you just can't get the band-aid off without hurting him, right? So what you gotta do is get some baby oil and just dab it all over that band-aid. Then it'll come right off. Wow! That didn't hurt at all! Now that we know how to clean out the bandage from this very, very real wound, and all we really need is some baby oil and a couple of Q-tips. Ow! What the 
just off to the side. And light pack, guys. If you don't have a bowl, you can always just put the baby oil in the cap. It's a perfect solution. And theoretically, once we put this baby oil on, this bandage will come right off. You guys ready to see if this bad boy comes off? One, two, and... Oh, wow! That came right off, guys! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. So for this one, you're gonna want a sponge thing and some acrylic paint. And you just go ahead and make yourself a bright and beautiful rainbow. And then you take that sponge and you just shove it up inside of a clear phone case. Wow, so beautiful. Are you gonna paint the Mona Lisa? And then you have this beautiful rainbow phone case. But does it work? I suppose we're about to find out, aren't we? So here's our phone case. And here's some foam. Now I'm gonna need some paint. Well, it's a good thing I'm fully stocked at 12A. Paint brushes. Oh yes, the mother of all paint. What do we pick? You know what? I'm just gonna bring the whole thing. A boo -bitty boo. Well, let's get some red, orange, yellow, green, blue. And we can't forget about purple. Now we just grab our foam and cut it up with our big knife. You know, most people, they'd probably use something to outline this. That way I know how big to cut it. But I'm just gonna use my natural instincts to really guesstimate how big I need to make it. Whittle it down just a little bit. Does it fit? You know what? It's good enough. So now we just take our paint and start making the rainbow. Good, good. Now we carefully take our foam and just push it right up into our phone case. Oh my gosh, that looks really cool. Oh wow, I was really underestimating this actually. That is awesome and it's stuck. Okay, very good. This is looking awesome, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry for a little bit and we'll see how it turns out. Guys, look at this. I took the piece of foam and I just smeared it all over the craft corner bench and it's turning out absolutely fantastic. It looks like there's a rainbow on my desk. New addition to the craft corner. Awesome. Woo! And here it is. I'd say it turned out pretty good. It's very rainbowy. I like how my desk turned out even better. That's a fun way to paint a rainbow. I'm gonna remember that. But let's see how the intern likes his new phone case. Hey intern, how is playing with your poppets going? I mean it's fun. Taking a break from work. Now, what is your favorite thing about these poppets? The colors and... Well, I got you something even cooler. It's a phone case. Whoa, that's a rainbow phone case? Yeah, dude. You I made really this? Did. I did. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's really pretty. Now you the... have a perfect rainbow iPhone case. Okay, so I have some bad news. I have a Samsung phone, not an iPhone. And two, I already have a case that works perfectly well. Well, you can just throw away your Android and... Uh, 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 sorry, I think I just broke that. And get yourself an iPhone and there you go, problem solved. Now, how about you take this case back, all right? And I'll keep my Android. Sounds good. Okay. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Yeah. I don't know how this is a parenting hack. <laughs> what, you okay? You're weird, dude. Okay, so your kid is drawing with some crayons on their own little canvas, and all their crayons are just super broken. So what you're gonna wanna do is take all the little broken crayons and put them in a mold, like a little baking mold, I guess, and then shove those bad boys in the oven and just let them all melt down. And now you have yourself a perfect little heart crayon. Now that's what I call recycling. We need to figure out how to do this with everything else. Maybe this will help prevent global warming. Okay guys, so I don't have any heart-shaped pink pop silicone things, but I do have these giant roses. I think a giant crayon rose would be pretty cool, actually. Now, I just gotta break some crayons and take all the paper off. Maybe this giant knife will help. Oh, yes. The accuracy of a giant knife. This is the best way I've ever seen to cut the paper off of crayon. Okay, one down. I think I'm gonna have to use something else. How about this axe? Yeah, I don't think the axe is the move. It kind of just chopped them all in half. I'm gonna try this box cutter. Even though these aren't boxes, these are, in fact, crayons. There we go, another one down. I'm gonna make a rainbow of roses. I don't know if I have enough crayons for that, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try purple and blue for now, just cause that's the most abundant color that I have. Before you guys roast me, I'm partly colorblind, so I can't really tell the difference between a lot of these colors. A few moments later. Okay guys, so unfortunately the craft corner does not have an oven. Yet. However, I do have this blowtorch. So I'm gonna try and melt it down using this blowtorch. I think it's working. Just keep melting, just keep melting, just keep melting, melting. What did we do? We melt, melt. Oh no! That's where I left some paper. I messed up, guys. Oh my gosh, all these crayons are on fire. 
I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool off for a little bit and we'll see how they turn out. Six and a half hours later. Okay, let's see if we can get these bad boys out. Should just pop right out like, oh wow. What about this one? Okay, are you guys ready for the big reveal? One, two, and oh my goodness. That looks really cool. The blue turned out really cool too. Well guys, I'm sure the intern's really bored so let's go draw with him. Hey, intern, I made something really fun, and I know you're really gonna enjoy it. I hope. I have real work to do, bro. I'm looking at your channel analytics right now. Anyway, I made you these crayon roses, and I think you're gonna have a lot of fun just drawing with them. I'm gonna draw something right now. It absolutely works, intern, you see? It absolutely works. Robbie, I'm gonna be honest here. You are nothing of an artist. But these are really pretty. Do you like these? Yeah, these, these are, are good crayons, right? Yeah, no, they're, they actually work as crayons and they're really pretty. That's really cool. Thanks for showing me. But I have some work to do. No problem. These are yours. I feel like you've been watching way too much Coco Melon. So I'm going to take this iPad away from you. Uh, have fun drawing, champ. I've been doing. Stimulate that. your brain. Okay. Okay. Okay, so for this, you're gonna want some cereal. What kind of cereal is this? Bilzu. I like it. Anyway, you take your cereal and you get a blender. You just go ahead and put it inside that blender and blend it up. You now have sand. And now your kid can play in the sand all they want. And you don't have to worry about them eating it. It's edible sand. It doesn't taste like sand at all. Okay, looks like we're about to make some edible sand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some cereal. I think this cereal is the closest I have to Cheerio, so go ahead and grab my questionably clean blender. Okay, here we go. Now that we have everything we could possibly need for a nutritious breakfast. I mean a sandbox, my bad. I'm just gonna take my very expensive off-brand Cheerios and grab these bad boys up. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, yes, that does look like sand if I ever saw it. Just look at this beautiful edible sand. I really hope the intern likes this because this cereal cost me $85. Oh, intern! Oh, Robbie! I know that you've probably been missing Florida, so I got you this fun little plate of sand. This reminds me of back home. That's so nice of you. The sand is so soft. Where'd you get it? My pantry. Look at this. You can actually eat the sand. Robbie, you shouldn't eat sand. Robbie, why are you eating sand? That's the sand. Bro, what's wrong with you? It's edible sand. You can eat sand. There's no sand that you can eat. Dude, we live in the desert. Anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy your edible sand to see you later. This is isn't edible. Guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I'm not, I'm not gonna eat the sand. Two hours later. Hey, Robbie. Yes, intern? Can you get me a glass of water since you won't let me leave the craft corner anymore after I took your cookies? You know what? You drive a fair point, intern, so we'll be right back. Thank you, Robbie. Here you go, intern. Uh, don't spill it, okay? Okay. Thank you, Robbie. Mmm. <laughs> Thank you, Robbie. Intern, you spilled this water everywhere! What the heck, dude? I was thirsty. I'll be right back. I think I have a hack for this one. So you and your kid are playing and boom! Pours over orange juice. What are you gonna do? You're gonna yell at them. Just kidding, we don't do that. You don't yell at kids. Also, look at this clip. You can see clearly where they tried this once or twice because there's orange juice stains on the floor right there. Very nice. Anyway, you're gonna grab a balloon and cut off both ends, I guess. And then you put it right on their cup. And then you just shove a straw inside the balloon end. There you go. It's a sealed drink protector. And now you'll never spill another drink again. Here's our glass of water. Here's our balloon. We're just gonna go ahead and cut the top of that off. Then we cut the bottom, squeeze it over the top of this bad boy, and then we just put the straw right in. Perfect. Let's go try it out with the intern. Okay, intern. Here you go, buddy. I got you some spill-proof water. It's all yours. Thanks, Robbie. No problem. Ah, that's some good water. Robbie, this water isn't coming out the, the straw. This isn't the water! I wanna do can I drink it with Here, the I'll balloon? show you a fun trick. Okay. That was dumb. Anyway, well guys, it looks like this is completely spill-proof and intern -proof. So overall, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. So for this one, you're gonna want a plastic bottle. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up a sec. What the heck is a terry towel? Egg What's a terry towel? According to Wikipedia, terry cloth, terry cloth, terry cotton, terry toweling, terry, terry towel, or simply toweling is a fabric woven with many protruding loops of thread which can absorb large amounts of water. It can be manufactured by weaving or knitting. Okay! It's just a basic towel. Why couldn't you put 
basic towel. You don't even need a Terry, just cross out Terry and put basic. It doesn't need to be that complicated. Anyway, you take your basic towel and you put it right over your bottle. Wait. Is that really did? Okay, so you take your bottle, you cut off the end, and then you put your basic bottle over it. And then you go ahead and dip that bad boy in some soapy water and blow on it. Boom! You have a million tiny bubbles! Whoa! Look at all those bubbles! Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna get this plate, add some water, add the soap into it, mix that up real good. Why does this look so strange? <laughs> now we're gonna put this off to the side for a moment, get our water bottle that we just emptied onto the plate, and cut off the end. Then we grab our basic cloth and just put it over our water bottle. And just use a little rubber band to hold it on. Awesome, now let's go try this out with the intern. Hey intern, I got this cool new invention for you. Are you ready to learn how to blow a million bubbles at once? I don't really care. Well here you go, all you gotta do is get this contraption soaking wet, and then you just blow. Oh my gosh. Whoa! That's pretty cool, honestly. Whoa, look at this! Wow, that's a lot of bubbles. Here that's you go really intern, try it. Uh, <laughs> Robbie, are you treating me like a kid? No. No, wait a second. You're filming That's another great. parenting hacks video, aren't you? Dude, no, it's been four months. No, stop. It's been four months and you're treating me like a kid? Again? I thought we were over this. I thought like the pranks and stuff were over. I thought you moved to a new house and this was like gonna be a brand new start for you, dude. Anyway, uh, here, give me one moment and turn up. Hey guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. This is ridiculous, bro. Seriously? Stop treating me like a kid. This is, this is stupid. So you have to be you just don't want your young one to swim in the ocean, because the ocean is super deep and super scary and you just don't want to go in there. So what you're going to want to do is dig a nice and deep hole. You're not going to use this to throw your kid in, by the way. You're going to throw a tarp over it. And then after that, you fill that bad boy with some water. And boom, you have this awesome little pool at the beach. It looks a little unsanitary, not going to lie. That water looks a little gross. But I think I can do something with this. Okay, guys, so he's been such a good little intern today. I figured that I should give him a little up great in its pool game. So I guess it's time to dig. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. And that's why I think I should build an above ground pool instead. Just like I did in this video a little while back. I have a good amount of experience building above ground pools, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I've never really built a pool of this magnitude by myself, so today I'm gonna have my good friend Santa help me. <laughs> How are you doing, Robbie? I'm doing great, Santa. I called you here today because the intern has been such a good little intern. Obviously because wanna... of that. Oh my. I really wanted to surprise him with an above ground pool. Let's do this. So the first thing we have to do, guys, is build a frame. Okay, guys, so here's our frame so far. It looks a little bit sketchy, but you know what? This is five minute craft, not a 500 minute craft. And now it's time for us to tarp it up. Isn't that right, Santa? Yes, sir. Oh god, I'm trying to think we should screw this in first. Okay guys, we finished putting the tarp inside the pool and I'm pretty sure it'll hold water. We won't know until we fill it. But I feel like we can make this even better by adding a water slide. What do you have against my son, Robbie? <laughs> okay, Santa, hand me the slide. Oh my god! He said hand it to him! I'm starting to think this might not work like this. I got the Santa! I'm holding the slide, Santa! <laughs> Okay, so we have our slide, but we have to figure out some ways to make it stay up. So we're gonna get some support. Perfect. Kids don't try this at home. Kids don't try this at home. Kids don't try this at home. So now we have to figure out where the next part of this is going. So can you hand me down the slide, Santa? Yes, I can. Okay, guys, so we got the slide secured to the wall. I'm gonna do a little test run with it. You ready for the Santa? Oh, God. It's already very wobbly. Oh God, we're off to a good start. I'm still alive, I think we're good. Okay guys, now that we got one slide together, you know what's even better than that? Four slides. Santa, that's too much. I was just gonna say two slides. We could just add two slides. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's build another slide. Okay guys, second slide is complete. Santa, let's try these bad boys. Woohoo! I'll race you down. One, two, three. You had to survive. Oh. Santa, the slide survived both of us going down them at the same time. I think we're good. Now we just have to fill this whole thing up with water. Let's do it, Robbie. Oh, yeah, so boop -de boop I'm just gonna go ahead and put it straight down the slide. And hopefully our pool actually holds the water. In retrospect, we should have probably checked that before we put two slides in here, but 
You know, I did it for the craft. And now, only time will tell. Will this water stay inside my makeshift pool? We're about to find out. <laughs> so it's not super filled yet, but we already have a little bit of a leak. I think it'll hold up though. It should be fine. Okay, now that the pool is done, it's time to show the intern his very special surprise. Oh, hey, intern. Since you've been so good today, you're just chilling in this pool, I decided to make you a special surprise. Uh, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Your surprises never end well. So all I need you to do is put on this. Bobby, the last time you had a surprise for me, you put me in a box and you gave me a camera. What's this? Hey, right, let's go! Oh, surprise! Oh, uh, not another one. Don't worry, intern. You're gonna love it. No, I'm not. Okay, intern, it's right over here. Whoa, dude, wait. These are slides. Aren't they so cool? Yeah. Oh, my God. I remember this from your try to escape challenge. Yeah, exactly. So these are actually water slides, and there's a pool down there. Dude, it's been so hot. I'm so excited to get drenched a little bit. If you go down the right slide, you'll get $10,000. Whoa, I wouldn't have to work for you anymore. Uh, but if you get the wrong one, there's a special surprise waiting down there for you with Santa. A special surprise? Wait, Santa's here! All you gotta do is wait for my signal, pick a slide, and I'll meet you right down there with your potential $10,000. Whoa, I gotta go! I'm using the green one! <laughs> You know, I was really skeptical about the pool Robbie made me, but I'm gonna be a special surprise regardless, so this is gonna be worth it. Okay, Andrew, slide down now. All right, right here it. I go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Santa, what's the prize? I have it right here. Ketchup? That's right, Andrew. Your very special surprise no, is dude. ketchup. Dude, it's freaking ketchup. No, are you being serious right now? Oh, 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 It's a very special surprise. Woo! Thank you so much for playing, intern. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good time. Your price is catch up. This is stupid. Stop! Stop! <laughs> See you guys later. It's not funny. Good work, Santa. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Dude, my phone was in my pocket the whole time. <gasps> Robbie, you need to buy me a new phone. It's not turning on anymore. But too bad you didn't win that ten thousand dollars. <laughs> oh my god. I built two water slides, and the intern has to go down one of them. If he goes down the right one, he'll get $10,000. But if he chooses the wrong one, he's gonna get a special surprise from Santa. So make sure to watch to the end of the video to find out what happens. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. And lately, the intern's just been misbehaving again. If you guys wanna know what I'm talking about, make sure to watch the last video. You can watch it right here, down the description below. I don't wanna talk about how I got out of there. It was a crazy situation, I'll tell you that. So I thought this would be a fantastic opportunity for me to try some fantastic life hacks from the video. Genius summer hacks. Best ideas for crafty parents. My good old five minute crafts. Look guys, I'm not saying the five minute crafts is perfect, but if this video got 31 million views, I think that these hacks have to be onto something. So let's try some parenting hacks, shall we? Oh, hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my brand new reaction room. This is where I'm gonna be reacting to all the clips beforehand now. I also made a whole new channel called Robbie Reacts where I react to things every single day. If you guys wanna subscribe to it, you can click right here or down description down below. Let's check out the first craft. So here's an easy way to make a DIY play pit. Using something you probably already have. A blow up pool. All you gotta do is blow that bad boy up and put all your kids toys in it. There you go. It'll keep them entertained for hours. Nice and contained. This will be great for the intern. Oh hey intern. How's it going now buddy? It's going good. So I'm just doing my work. So I think that you should have your own little area. That way you can sit and dance and prance and play with all your little toys. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. One second, I'll be right back. <laughs> Robbie, why'd you throw that? Here you go. This is gonna be your new hangout spot, buddy. Dude, that's a pool. I'm fine on the couch. It's okay. Here, I'm gonna move this chest. And I'm just gonna put this pool right here for you. One second, I'm gonna add some toys. But why do I need toys? These puppets should do nicely. Get in there, intern. No, do I have to? Just yeah, get in there. Get in, make get in there. Get in on the floor. This is all your dedicated area now. You can play and you can I'm hang out and you can do whatever you want in this little circle. Dude, I'm not a kid. I don't need puppets to have fun. It's dumb. Look, okay, intern, this is your new spot now and I think you're really gonna love it. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna love it. This is absolutely stupid. You're treating me like a kid again. Okay, intern. Well, you stay there. You be a good little intern. I'll see you later. <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. 
Can you go now? <laughs> proof some doors. So what you're gonna want to do is get some Tupperware and just cut two slits in the Tupperware top. Put the Tupperware top on the doorknob, spin that bad boy on, nope. and it's unaccessible to the child. It sure looks child proof, but is it intern proof? Okay, so I didn't have any Tupperware that I really felt like destroying, so we're gonna use this mixed nuts jar. Let's go ahead and take off the cap. Bibbidi boop. And now we're gonna break out our giant knife. Let's go ahead and make a little slit. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that did not work very well. Maybe this wasn't the correct tool for the job. I'm also thinking that maybe this lid was not the right tool either, but we'll try this anyway. I'm sure this will work. It looks just like the original craft. Let's go try this bad boy out. Everybody boom. And just, uh, okay, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I guess that'll work. The intern will never be able to The intern will never be able to get into that. I can't even twist the doorknob as it is. It's working great. Oh, hey, intern. How you doing there, buddy? As miserable as ever. Can I go to the bathroom? Yeah, you can absolutely go to the bathroom that is inside my house, outside of the craft corner. Yeah, that's where the bathroom is. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, go for it. Don't worry, intern. Go straight through the exit door. You know, just do your thing. Oh, how, what the heck? How'd you do that? Intern, what? What? Oh my god. Okay, don't uh, follow me into the bathroom, Robbie. Okay, I'll, I'll see you later. Okay. I wasted a perfectly good mixed nuts lid. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. <sighs> okay guys, it's been a good 20 minutes since I checked up on the intern. How you doing, buddy? Hey, what well, the heck? I found some cookies besides the toilet while I use the bathroom. Oh, really good, Robbie. How the heck did you find my secret stash? Intern, what the- What are you doing? Why are you taking them away from me? These are my cookies, intern. I don't know how the heck you found these. I have these hidden very well, actually. I think I have an idea of how I can fix this. So is your kid just always sneaking candy when you're not looking? Look at her! She just ran off with all of them! What the heck? So what you're gonna want to do is pour out all the vegetables out of your vegetable bag and just put all the candy inside of it. And now, you just hide it with the candy and when your kid goes to look for it, they're gonna be like, where the heck is all my candy? And they're gonna be mad and they'll never know. Honestly, this is perfect. So first things first, I'm gonna have to take a little trip to my garage. <laughs> Now we have to go through another secret door. Oh yes, the freezer I was looking for. Let's see. I think these carrots ought to do. Oh hey, what's that behind your ear? <laughs> it's a giant chunk of carrots. Well, don't need this anymore. Now that we have our carrots bag, I'm just gonna go ahead and get my Girl Scout cookies and just shove them right in there. In retrospect, I should have probably dried off the bag a little better, but you know what? It'll be fine. And now we have a perfect little bag of carrots, and the intern will never find this again. Oh, hey, intern, don't mind me. I'm just grabbing my bag of frozen sliced carrots and putting them in the fridge. That's gross. Yeah, you don't want these. They're terrible for a little intern. I don't think you'd like them in the slightest. I don't, but can I have my cookies back? I ate them all, and they were never yours to begin with. Do anyway, it. don't touch my frozen sliced carrots. I'll see you later. They were... Dude! 12 seconds later. What's in here? The freaking cookies? Bro, he thinks he can hide these cookies from me? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna eat them all now. Why? I've been taking away my little fun and enjoying what I have in my life. Dang, bro. Oh. Hey, intern, how's it going, buddy? Hey, Robbie. I mean, it's going as best as it could be right now, considering I'm in a kiddie pool playing with poppets. Well, I'm just here for my frozen... Where the heck are my frozen carrots? Not stupid, Robbie. You were hiding something from me and lose the cookies. Do I have a frozen carrots? They were cookies. You were hiding them from me. Adrian, what the heck? Those were my special cookies. I had them hidden from you. I hit them twice. Once in the little toilet thing, and then once in the fridge in my frozen carrots. Adrian, you're driving me crazy. And your hair, it's also driving me crazy. But it's okay, because I know a hack for that. Stop pulling my hair. <laughs> okay, guys, so here's a quick and easy way to do your kid's hair really quick. All you gotta do is round by the hair just like that. Pull them up and then just have them spin around. Boom! Nicely woven hair. The perfect little space bud. This one's beautiful and I think I need to try this one out. Okay, intern. First off, I'm gonna have to take all your hair and put it up into a ponytail just like this. Aww, Robbie, this isn't a makeup video. Why? It's okay. I have the ultimate man bun technology. Oh, uh, Robbie, you're always pulling my hair in these videos. And now we just gotta give you a little spin. Woo! 
Okay, guys, are you ready for the big reveal? I'm not. I'm gonna let it go. You ready no. for me to let it go? Yeah. Okay, let's see if it holds. <laughs> that didn't hold at all. Well, guys, I guess that hack actually didn't work. I'm sorry, in turn, enjoy your newfound voluptuous hair. I'll see you later. Yo, what up, intern? You've been good for a little bit. What you up to? You're just the guy I was looking for. I'm playing with this poppet, but I do have this band aid that I need some help taking off. Intern, what the heck? When did you do that? That's disgusting. It was when I tripped and fell, remember? Intern. Oh, hey, intern. It's time for lunch. Yeah, come on. I made you your favorite a meatloaf sandwich. Meatloaf sandwich is golly. That is my favorite. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Ah, let's go. My leg was asleep and I think I just scraped my elbow. Oh my god, intern, come on. Here, come with me to the craft corner. I'll fix you right up. Let's go. Uh, okay, intern. Uh, Ooh, okay, just uh, sit down. It's okay. Calm down. It's okay. It's all good. Ready? I have the solution for this. A single band-aid. Yes, this should fix it quite nicely, actually. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick that right on there. There you go, intern. You're good as new. Thank you so much, Robbie. It feels a lot better. No problem, buddy. Okay, just make sure to clean that out every once in a while, rebandage it, and you'll be good, okay? I don't care. Can we eat some meatloaf sandwiches now? Yeah, let's go eat some meatloaf sandwiches. Okay, let's go. Yeah! Oh, intern, that was over a month ago. I told you to make sure it was clean and replace the bandage, remember? Well, it really hurt taking off the band-aid, so I just kind of left it like that. Oh. Can you help me take it off? Yeah, I can. I think I have a life hack for that. So you just can't get the band-aid off without hurting him, right? So what you gotta do is get some baby oil and just dab it all over that band-aid. Then it'll come right off. Wow! That didn't hurt at all! Now that we know how to clean out the bandage from this very, very real wound, and all we really need is some baby oil and a couple of Q-tips. Ow! Put this off to the side, and life hack, guys. If you don't have a bowl, you can always just put the baby oil in the cap. It's a perfect solution. And theoretically, once we put this baby oil on, this bandage will come right off. You guys ready to see if this bad boy comes off? One, two, and... Oh, wow! That came right off! I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. So for this one, you're gonna want a sponge thing and some acrylic paint. And you just go ahead and make yourself a bright and beautiful rainbow. And then you take that sponge and you just shove it up inside of a clear phone case. Wow, so beautiful. Are you gonna paint the Mona Lisa? And then you have this beautiful rainbow phone case. But does it work? I suppose we're about to find out, aren't we? So here's our phone case, and here's some foam. Now I'm gonna need some paint. Well, it's a good thing I'm fully stocked at 12A. Paint brushes. Oh yes, the mother of all paint. What do we pick? You know what? I'm just gonna bring the whole thing. A boo -bitty boo Well, let's get some red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and we can't forget about purple. Now we just grab our foam and cut it up with our big knife. You know, most people, they'd probably use something to outline this. That way I know how big to cut it. But I'm just gonna use my natural instincts to really guesstimate how big I need to make it. Whittle it down just a little bit. Does it fit? You know what? It's good enough. So now we just take our paint and start making the rainbow. Good, good. Now we carefully take our foam and just push it right up into our phone case. Oh my gosh, that looks really cool. Oh wow, I was really underestimating this actually. That is awesome. And it's stuck. Okay, very good. This is looking awesome, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let this dry for a little bit and we'll see how it turns out. Guys, look at this! I took the piece of foam and I just smeared it all over the craft corner bench and it's turning out absolutely fantastic it looks like there's a rainbow on my desk new addition to the craft corner awesome Woo! and here it is i'd say it turned out pretty good it's very rainbowy i like how my desk turned out even better that's a fun way to paint a rainbow i'm gonna remember that but let's see how the intern likes his new phone case hey intern how is playing with your poppets going i mean it's fun taking a break from work. Now, what is your favorite thing about these poppets? The colors and... Well, I got you something even cooler. It's a phone case. Whoa, that's a rainbow phone case? Yeah, dude. You I made really this? Did. I did. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's really pretty. Now but, you uh, have a perfect rainbow iPhone case. Okay, so I have some bad news. I have a Samsung phone, not an iPhone. And two, I already have a case that works perfectly well. Well, you can just throw away your Android and... Uh, uh, sorry, I think I just broke that thing. Get yourself an iPhone, and there you go. Problem solved. Now, how about you take this case back, all right? And I'll keep my Android. Sounds good. Okay. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one actually works. 
Yeah. I don't know how this is a parenting hack. <laughs> what, you okay? You're weird, dude. Okay, so your kid is drawing with some crayons on their own little canvas, and all their crayons are just super broken. So what you're gonna wanna do is take all the little broken crayons and put them in a mold, a little baking mold, I guess, and then shove those bad boys in the oven and just let them all melt down. And now you have yourself a perfect little heart crayon. Now that's what I call recycling. We need to figure out how to do this with everything else. Maybe this will help prevent global warming. Okay guys, so I don't have any heart-shaped pink pop silicone things, but I do have these giant roses. I think a giant crayon rose would be pretty cool, actually. Now, I just gotta break some crayons and take all the paper off. Maybe this giant knife will help. Oh, yes. The accuracy of a giant knife. This is the best way I've ever seen to cut the paper off of crayon. Okay, one down. I think I'm gonna have to use something else. How about this axe? Yeah, I don't think the axe is the move. It kind of just chopped them all in half. I'm gonna try this box cutter. Even though these aren't boxes, these are, in fact, crayons. There we go, another one down. I'm gonna make a rainbow of roses. I don't know if I have enough crayons for that, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try purple and blue for now, just cause that's the most abundant color that I have. Before you guys roast me, I'm partly colorblind, so I can't really tell the difference between a lot of these colors. A few moments later. Okay guys, so unfortunately the craft corner does not have an oven. Yet. However, I do have this blowtorch. So I'm gonna try and melt it down using this blowtorch. I think it's working. Just keep melting, just keep melting, just keep melting, melting. What did we do? We melt, melt. Oh no! That's where I left some paper. I messed up, guys. Oh my gosh, all these crayons are on fire. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let these cool off for a little bit and we'll see how they turn out. Six and a half hours later. Okay, let's see if we can get these bad boys out. Should just pop right out like, oh wow. What about this one? Okay, are you guys ready for the big reveal? One, two, and oh my goodness. That looks really cool. The blue turned out really cool too. Well guys, I'm sure the intern's really bored so let's go draw with him. Hey intern, I made something really fun and I know you're really gonna enjoy it! I hope, I have real work to do bro, I'm looking at your channel analytics right now. Anyway, I made you these crayon roses and I think you're gonna have a lot of fun just drawing with them. I'm gonna draw something right now. It absolutely works intern, you see? It absolutely works! Ravi, I'm gonna be honest here, you are nothing of an artist. But these are really pretty. Do you like these? Yeah, these, these are, are good crayons, right? Yeah, no, they're, they actually work as crayons and they're really pretty. That's really cool. Thanks for showing me, but I have some work to do. No problem, these are yours. I feel like you've been watching way too much Coco Melon, so I'm gonna take this iPad away from you. I've, uh, have fun drawing, champ. I've been doing- Stimulate that. your brain! Okay. Okay. Okay, so for this, you're gonna want some cereal. What kind of cereal is this? Bilzu. I like it. Anyway, you take your cereal and you get a blender. You just go ahead and put it inside that blender and blend it up. You now have sand, and now your kid can play in the sand all they want. And you don't have to worry about them eating it. It's edible sand. It doesn't taste like sand at all. Okay, looks like we're about to make some edible sand. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab some cereal. I think this cereal is the closest I have to Cheerio, so go ahead and grab my questionably clean blender. Okay, here we go. Now that we have everything we could possibly need for a nutritious breakfast, I mean a sandbox, my bad. I'm just gonna take my very expensive off-brand Cheerios and blend these bad boys up. Okay, let's see what we got. Go. Oh yes, that does look like sand if I ever saw it. Just look at this beautiful edible sand. I really hope the intern likes this because this cereal cost me $85. Oh, intern! Oh, Robbie! I know that you've probably been missing Florida, so I got you this fun little plate of sand. This reminds me of back home. Oh, that's so nice of you. The sand is so soft. Where'd you get it? My pantry. Look at this. You can actually eat the sand. Robbie, you shouldn't eat sand. Robbie, why are you eating sand? That's the sand. Bro, what's wrong with you? It's edible sand. You can eat sand. There's no sand that you can eat. Dude, we live in the desert. Anyway, I'm gonna go enjoy your edible sand to see you later. This is inedible. Guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I'm not, I'm not gonna eat the sand. Two hours later. Hey, Robbie. Yes, intern? Can you get me a glass of water since you won't let me leave the craft corner anymore after I took your cookies? You know what? You drive a fair point, intern, so I'll be right back. Thank you, Robbie. Here you go, intern. Uh, don't spill it, okay? Okay. Thank you, Robbie. 
Mm. <laughs> Thank you, Robbie. Intern, you spilled this water everywhere. What the heck, dude? I was thirsty. I'll be right back. I think I have a hack for this one. So you and your kid are playing and boom! Pours over orange juice. What are you gonna do? You're gonna yell at them. Just kidding, we don't do that. We don't yell at kids. Also, look at this clip. You can see clearly where they tried this once or twice because there's orange juice stains on the floor right there. Very nice. Anyway, you're gonna grab a balloon and cut off both ends, I guess. And then you put it right on their cup. And then you just shove a straw inside the balloon end. There you go. It's a sealed drink protector. And now you'll never spill another drink again. There's our glass of water. Here's our balloon. We're just gonna go ahead and cut the top of that off. Then we cut the bottom, squeeze it over the top of this bad boy, and then we just put the straw right in. Perfect. Let's go try it out with the intern. Okay, intern. Here you go, buddy. I got you some spill-proof water. It's all yours. Thanks, Robbie. No problem. Ah, that's some good water. Robbie, this water isn't coming out the, the straw. This isn't the water! I want to do- can I drink it without Here, the I'll balloon? show you a fun trick. Okay. That was dumb. Anyway, well guys, it looks like this is completely spill proof and intern -proof. So overall, I'm gonna have to say that this one works. So for this one, you're gonna want a plastic bottle. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up a sec. What the heck is a terry towel? Egg What's a terry towel? According to Wikipedia, terry cloth, terry cloth, terry cotton, terry toweling, terry, terry towel, or simply toweling is a fabric woven with many protruding loops of thread which can absorb large amounts of water. It can be manufactured by weaving or knitting. Okay! It's just a basic towel. Why couldn't you put basic towel? You didn't even need a Terry. Just cross out Terry and put basic. It doesn't need to be that complicated. Anyway, you take your basic towel and you put it right over your bottle. Wait. Is that what they did? Okay, so you take your bottle, you cut off the end, and then you put your basic bottle over it. And then you go ahead and dip that bad boy in some soapy water and blow on it. Boom! You have a million tiny bubbles! Woo! Look at all those bubbles! Okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna get this plate, some water, add the soap into it, mix that up real good. Why does this look so strange? <laughs> then we're gonna put this off to the side for a moment, get our water bottle that we just emptied onto the plate, and cut off the end. Then we grab our basic cloth and just put it over our water bottle. And just use a little rubber band to hold it on. Awesome, now let's go try this out with the intern. Hey intern, I got this cool new invention for you. Are you ready to learn how to blow a million bubbles at once? I don't really care. Well, here we go. All you gotta do is get this contraption soaking wet, and then you just blow. Oh my gosh. Whoa! That's pretty cool, honestly. Whoa, look at this. Wow, that's a lot of bubbles. Here that's you go, really intern. Cool. Try it. Uh, <laughs> Robbie, are you treating me like a kid? No. No, wait a second. You're filming That's another great. parenting hacks video, aren't you? Dude, no, it's been four months. No, stop. It's been four months and you're treating me like a kid? Again? I thought we were over this. I thought like the pranks and stuff were over. I thought you moved to a new house and this was like gonna be a brand new start for you, dude. Anyway, uh, here, give me one moment and turn up. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. This is ridiculous, bro. Seriously? Stop treating me like a kid. This is, this is stupid. So you have to be you just want your young one to swim in the ocean, because the ocean is super deep and super scary, and you just don't want to go in there. So what you're going to want to do is dig a nice and deep hole. You're not going to use this to throw your kid in, by the way. You're going to throw a tarp over it. And then after that, you fill that bad boy with some water, and boom, you have this awesome little pool at the beach. It looks a little unsanitary, not going to lie. That water looks a little gross, but I think I can do something with this. Okay, guys, so he's been such a good little intern today, I figured that I should give him a little upgrade in his pool game. So I guess it's time to dig. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. And that's why I think I should build an above ground pool instead. Just like I did in this video a little while back. I have a good amount of experience building above ground pools, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I've never really built a pool of this magnitude by myself, so today I'm gonna have my good friend Santa help me. <laughs> How are you doing, Robbie? I'm doing great, Santa. I called you here today because the intern has been such a good little intern. Obviously, because of that. Oh my. I really wanted to surprise him with an above ground pool. Let's do this. So the first thing we have to do, guys, is build a frame. Okay, guys, so here's our frame so far. It looks a little bit sketchy, but you know what? This is five minute craft, not a 500 minute craft. And now it's time for us to tarp it up. Isn't that right, Santa? Yes, sir. Whoa, whoa, Santa, you ready to go for a ride? 
Oh god. I'm starting to think we should screw this in first. Okay guys, we finished putting the tarp inside the pool and I'm pretty sure it'll hold water. We won't know until we fill it. But I feel like we can make this even better by adding a water slide. What do you have against my son, Robbie? <laughs> Okay, Santa, hand me the slide. Oh my God. He said hand it to him. I'm starting to think this might not work like this. I got the Santa. I'm holding the slide, Santa. Oh, so we have our slide, but we have to figure out some ways to make it stay up. So we're going to get some support. Perfect. Kids, don't try this at home. Kids, don't try this at home. Kids, don't try this at home. So now we have to figure out where the next part of this is going. So can you hand me down the slide, Santa? Yes, I can. Okay guys, so we got the slide secured to the wall. I'm gonna do a little test run with it. You ready for the Santa? Oh God, it's already very wobbly. Oh God, we're off to a good start. I'm still alive, I think we're good. Okay guys, now that we got one slide together, you know what's even better than that? Four slides. Santa, that's too much. I was just gonna say two slides. We could just add two slides. Oh, okay. Anyway, let's build another slide. Okay guys, second slide is complete. Santa, let's try these bad boys. I'll brace you down. One, two, three. We survived. Yeah. Your hat didn't survive. Oh. Santa, the slide survived both of us going down them at the same time. I think we're good. Now we just have to fill this whole thing up with water. Let's do it, Robbie. Oh, uh, yeah, so boopity boop. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it straight down the slide. And hopefully our pool actually holds the water. In retrospect, we should probably check that before we put two slides in here, but you know, I did it for the craft. And now, only time will tell. Will this water stay inside my makeshift pool? We're about to find out. So it's not super filled yet, but we already have a little bit of a leak. I think it'll hold up though. It should be fine. Okay, now that the pool is done, Time to show the intern his very special surprise. Oh, hey intern, since you've been so good today, just chilling in this pool, I decided to make you a special surprise. Uh, I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Your surprises never end well. Here, all I need you to do is put on this. Bobby, the last time you had a surprise for me, you put me in a box and you gave me a camera. What's this? Come on, let's go! Oh, I got a special surprise! Uh, not another one. Don't worry, intern, you're gonna love it. No, I'm not. Okay, intern, it's right over here. Whoa, dude, wait, these are slides. Aren't they so cool? Yeah, oh my god, I remember this from your try to escape challenge. Yeah, exactly. So, these are actually water slides and there's a pool down there. Dude, it's been so hot. I'm so excited to get drenched a little bit. And if you go down the right slide, you'll get $10,000. Whoa, I wouldn't have to work for you anymore. Uh, but if you get the wrong one, there's a special surprise waiting down there for you with Santa. A special surprise? Wait, Santa's here! All you gotta do is wait for my signal, pick a slide, and I'll meet you right down there with your potential $10,000. Whoa, I gotta go! I'm using the green one! <laughs> You know, I was really skeptical about the pool Robbie made me, but I'm gonna be a special surprise regardless, so this is gonna be worth it. Okay, Andrew, slide down now. We're All right, here you. I go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so glad. Santa, what's the prize? I have it right here. Ketchup? That's right, Andrew. Your very special surprise no, is dude. ketchup. Dude, it's freaking ketchup. No, are you being serious right now? Oh, 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 It's a very special surprise. Woo! Thank you so much for playing, intern. I hope you had fun. I hope you had a good time. The price to catch up. This is stupid. Stop! Stop! <laughs> See you guys later. It's not funny. Good work, Santa. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one absolutely works. Dude, my phone was in my pocket the whole time. <laughs> Robbie, you need to buy me a new phone. It's not turning on anymore. But too bad you didn't win the $10,000. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. That's it trying some fun Halloween makeup from TikTok. You guys seem to really like Halloween makeup and you really seem to like TikTok. So I figured why not mix the 
two together. Anyway, let's see what the first one is. Okay, so right now we got this girl and she's gonna become Harley Quinn. First thing you do is remove all hats and glasses and then you give yourself a nice foundation. Do a little bit of white powder and then you do a little bit of blue eyeshadow, do a little bit of pink eyeshadow. There you go, smudge it around a little bit. Make sure to do the eyebrows really good. Contour, ooh, gotta do some contouring today. Add the little heart, add the lipstick. Gotta give yourself a little smudge on the lipstick. Add some mascara, pink and blue hair, the blonde wig, a choker, I need a choker. So I guess I'll start off by removing my hat and putting up my hair because I don't want this makeup to get in my hair. I'm gonna grab myself a nice palette, some foundation, beauty blender, that's gonna be important. And then last but not least, some white face powder. I also need an eyeline pencil. So now we got this all situated. I just have to add some foundation, make my face nice and matte. Boop -a -boop. Then we blend it all in. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now we add our white face powder. <laughs> I'm starting to think this white face powder isn't white enough. Maybe if I use this Halloween makeup kit, that'll be a little bit better. We're going for a really pale white, and I don't think that what I have quite cuts it. Here we go! I found a palette with a little bit of white on it. Oh, that's way better. Now that's pale. This is pretty much exactly what we were going for. Now we're gonna go in with our makeup palette. I'm gonna use the pink from it and the blue. I also have a pink from this. I think I got this one from the dollar store. <laughs> but it has a pretty vibrant pink, so I'm gonna try that on my pink side. Okay, I'm actually gonna go even cheaper. This is a Halloween makeup kit that I got, and I just really wanted a really vibrant one, so I'm using this one. Look at that, that's so much brighter than the other one. And it also kind of matches the pink on my hair. I think I did this right. Just a general synopsis of my makeup. It doesn't look bad, it just doesn't look correct. So essentially she just like took her makeup and she like did that. You know what, the pink is good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and use the blue from the same palette because I just love how vibrant these colors are. We're gonna do the blue all around my other eye. And I'm gonna do the same method to this side. Just smear it up. Now I look like a Harley Quinn raccoon. <laughs> Awesome, it looks okay. It doesn't look terrible, it looks fine. Six out of 10 so far. <laughs> now I have to somehow find an eyeliner pencil. I don't have one at the moment, so I might go steal Tori Baranski's really quick. Oh, just kidding, I think I found some. I've never been very good at applying this stuff. I'm about to look like a seventh grader who grew up in the late 2000s. I know I'm gonna get some criticism on this eyeliner, and that's okay. My eyes are aligned, my chakras are aligned. What else could I need? <laughs> oh yeah, I'm supposed to draw on my eyebrows. That's what I need. I'm not 100% sure how this got in my makeup bin. This is to like get the hook out of a fish. I don't know, what, intern, what are you trying to say? I'm gonna stay true to the craft and I'm just gonna draw in my eyebrows, but they're gonna be sparkly eyebrows for sure. Sparkly brown eyebrows, definitely the move. These eyebrows are here and everyone's gonna know because we outlined them and they are super dark now and they are very uneven. Look at this, it looks like I'm interested all the time. I'm like, yeah. I'm just gonna let my face rest and you guys will see what I mean. Look how much higher that one is. Maybe I can fill it in a little bit. Is my eyebrow just always that high? Oh my gosh. So now I gotta go in and give myself some highlights. I'm gonna go with this guy. I think that's what she did to really just highlight. Oh, that's way too dark. How about that? Oh, that's also way too dark. I don't think I'm doing this right at all. I messed up on highlighting pretty bad. Let's see if I can recover this with the lipstick. Okay, here we go. Lipstick is another one of my not so strong suits. I'm gonna just poker them up. Okay, yeah, I think I did a good job on this actually. I definitely look crazy. Now I gotta smudge the lipstick ever so slightly. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna use a Sharpie to draw a little heart. Let's see if I remember how to draw a heart. You just go, oh, that heart looks very derpy. Oh my goodness. I can try to fix it, but the more I fix it, the bigger it gets. Now what finishing touches is I have to use some mascara, extra black, just what we need. Oh, fantastic. Do my eyelashes look luscious? What about my lips? Do my lips look luscious? If this doesn't lushify my lips, I don't know what will. Okay guys, just a couple finishing touches. I got this outfit from Tori Dabransky. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on really quick. There we go. Now I just have to put my hair up in the pigtails. I might not actually do this one. I feel like my hair kind of looks better without it in pigtails. But you know what? We're staying true to the craft. Stay true to the craft. Stay true to yourself. Rob the Epic Sauce 2022. The year of staying true to the craft. Actually, I dig this. <laughs> So crazy right now. I forgot the choker. There we go. Yeah, and now I'm Harley Quinn. <laughs> now let's 
see what Tori Dabrowski thinks. She should be here any minute. That's her now. Oh, hey, Tori Dabrowski. Hello. I need you to put this on. Okay. Yeah, just like that. Come in. Oh, God, no. It's okay. It's scary. It's okay. Okay, Tori Dabrowski, are you ready? For what? For the big reveal. Take off your blindfold. <gasps> Oh my god! <laughs> you did so good! Do you like it? Do you think it turned out fantastic? I like it! Pretty cute! So, is this gonna be your outfit for Anime Expo? Whoa! Guys, if this video gets 10,000 thumbs up, I'll wear this to the next anime convention. I know Harley Quinn is not an anime, but you know, it'll be fine. Where would you rate my makeup and my outfit? But before you give me an answer, Tori Dabransky, let me show you the original. So, this is how the girl ended up doing her makeup, and this is how mine turned out. What do you think? You did a really good job at the little heart. Yeah, I thought I did yeah. really bad at the heart. No, Every time good. I tried to make it, it actually got way worse and way bigger. But thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you did a good job. What would you rate this Harley Quinn costume out of 10? I, okay, I just have one question. Yeah? What is happening with around your eyebrows? My eyebrows were originally brown. I actually changed them the very last minute because I felt self-conscious because this girl actually had black eyebrows instead of brown eyebrows. Okay. So that's why they look a little crazy. <laughs> Minus the eyebrows. Eyebrows, I would give it a solid eight. Okay, an eight out of ten, guys. I did pretty good. Pretty good. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be doing makeup for the rest of the day over this makeup, so I'm just gonna call you in and I'll, I'll have you rated for the rest of the day. That's fine. I'm making cookies right now. What? I'm gonna try and do the next one before you, you do your cookies, okay? Okay. How long does it take? Okay guys, I have eight minutes to do this next makeup hack. What is it? Okay, so this girl's gonna show us some Halloween makeup hacks. Here's how to use fake nails as vampire teeth. What you're gonna wanna do is shave down the fake nails. Then you're gonna wanna get some Fix-A-Dent, aka tooth glue. Don't use nail glue. Apparently this girl knows from experience. <laughs> uh, and then you just glue them right on. Boom, you're a vampire. So the first thing I'm gonna need are some fake nails. I believe I have them in my makeup kit right here. Oh my goodness, six pairs of vampire teeth. Well, don't need those anymore. It's all about these guys. You just get yourself some fake nails, and then just go ahead and cut them down. Oh yes, that ought to do it. Do I have any fix -a I think I do in here somewhere. Oh, I do have fix -a See? Just gonna go ahead and take that off. Put some of that on there. Ooh, it's pink. Let's see, is it gonna stick on my tooth? I think that might be way too long. Oh, it's working. We're good. Now the next one, and there we go. We have a vampire Harley Quinn. It's not sticking off very well. Maybe I'm supposed to let him dry? I don't really know. I mean, for a temporary thing, it kind of works, but they definitely fall out quite easy. Hold on. Oh, that tastes so bad. I feel bad for anyone who has to use this. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. Well, I got some time left. What else does she have to show us? Apparently, you can get mermaid scales with fishnets. All you gotta do is put the fishnets over your face, and then you just start painting it on. It looks like Harley Quinn is gonna become a vampire mermaid? Well, guys, I couldn't find any fishnets, but I did find this cheese grater. So I'm thinking maybe I could do the same effect with it. We're gonna find out. For this one, I'm gonna use a shade of green from my palette. That way it sticks out. We're just gonna put this right up against my face. This is probably great for my complexion. I don't think that worked. I'm starting to think this isn't the best idea. But we're gonna keep trying it, because that's how we do things. We'll just give it another go. Kind of. Let's see. Maybe it'll work better if I do this. The green's not really popping out. Maybe we'll do it with the red. Ooh, I can do it with the cheese slicing side. Different side, different side of the face. Yeah? Yeah, I, I'm gonna have to say that this one's not working. Ugh. If only I had some fishnets. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one was inconclusive because I was very unprepared. And I am very sorry. Wait, I think I have something. <sighs> Instead of fishnets, I could use this hairnet. Yeah, that'll work, right? Just get it right on my face. <laughs> Put this makeup all over the fishnet. Are you guys ready for the big reveal? <laughs> There's no fishnet marks at all. It's just all green. Well, yeah, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one didn't really work for me. Although I probably might have done it wrong. I'm sorry. On the bright side, I got done with two hacks in the time it took Tori Dabransky to make cookies. I wonder how those cookies are doing. I'm gonna try and squeeze in another makeup look before I go ask her. Okay, so this is how you draw on a scream mask. I already have a scream mask, but it would be better if we learned how to paint it on. That way, I could just give everyone scream masks. I can just paint scream masks onto everyone. Start with the basic shape of the scream mask, and then you just go black and white, black and white, add a little bit of shading. How hard could this be? Really? I don't see this being hard at all. So easy. You 
know, I'm gonna be transforming from Harley Quinn. Scream. That's the way you do it. Oh my goodness. First thing I'm gonna do is change out of this Harley Quinn outfit because I don't want to get makeup all over it. Okay, there we go. Got a black hoodie. I'm gonna have to take out my pigtails. Great pigtails. They looked good, you know? I'm gonna get my headband and I'm just gonna put it on just to kind of keep my hair up and out of the way. And then afterwards, I'll just put on this hood and it'll be an ominous dark figure. But first, I gotta do my makeup. So I ended up getting this makeup pencil instead. It looks like we just go ahead and outline our entire face to look like Spooky Ghost Face Man from Scream. Look how nice and not crooked that line is. Ooh, sleek. And I'm doing it right right over my Harley Quinn makeup. You know, we're not starting with a blank canvas. I wanted to go from Harley Quinn to Scream to a very special third person. You guys are gonna find out. And we're already looking absolutely beautiful. Then I guess they went in and kind of highlighted with the black. Now I gotta fill in this inner part with the black. Oh gosh, I broke my pencil. Oh no. This is gonna make it way more difficult. Now I'm gonna switch to... I don't know if you guys saw that, but it got everywhere. I'm gonna switch to the cream makeup now. This is a black Halloween makeup crayon pencil broke. And now, this is what we're down to. Remember guys, I'm not a professional. This is not a tutorial. I'm just a guy with a cheap Amazon makeup set doing crafts. <laughs> I'm trying my best, okay? Now we're gonna do some of the finer details. Now I gotta fill in all the shadows on my face. Get all up in there. I'm gonna have to take a shower after this maybe, but probably not. Okay, what do you guys think? Am I doing a good job? I really don't know. I think the white is supposed to be a little bit more prominent around my eyes. Guys, I don't look like Scream at all. I'm just gonna give myself a single nose hole. That's where Scary Ghost Man's nose hole is. I'm doing fantastic here. I'm doing great work. I don't think this is turning out super great. Guys, I think I messed up. <laughs> Why don't I just try to brand with those cookies? Maybe if I put the hood, that'll help this out a little bit. What do you think? Do I look like Scream? All things considered, I don't think it looks that bad. There we go, I turned off the lights, darkened it up a little bit. What do you guys think? Do I blend into the shadows? Okay guys, so here's mine and here's theirs. I'm gonna close my eyes so you guys can get a proper comparison. Did I do a good job? Let me know down in the comments down below. I feel like I really did. What does Tori Dabransky think? Okay guys, before I show Tori Dabransky, I'm gonna give this costume one final touch. And that is adding this knife. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Yeah. You brought me cookies? You brought me cookies? Check out my costume. Oh, okay. What do you think? Do I look good? You look good, but... Do I look like Scream? Uh, a little bit. He, he looks like this. Wait, Tori Brest, you brought me a friend and cookies? Thank you so much. What do you guys think? Do we look alike? I don't know. I'm gonna have to say that I did an okay job on this. I don't think that I did great. What would you rate this one, Tori Dabransky? I would give this one a four. <laughs> no. I'm surprised I didn't get a two. But thank you so much for these cookies, Tori Dabransky. I can't wait to eat them. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. no guys, I'm just so glad to say that this one absolutely works. They're delicious. Thank you so much. I don't, I don't, I don't. Okay, what's the next TikTok makeup hack? Okay guys, so for this next one, I'm gonna need a bald cap. Looks pretty solid. Now I'm gonna need to Elmer's glue my eyebrows back. I feel like I'm a little bit far beyond that. Let me get some cotton balls and use latex to stick that to my face. Just kind of pop out, accentuate some features on my face really. Get some burlap sack and just start gluing it to my face. And then we do the black makeup around the eyes. I already have that, so I don't really need to do that. I might need to touch up this white. But besides that, that's kind of why I decided to do that one after this. Add some blood, maybe some contacts, and you got this crazy scarecrow man. They look absolutely fantastic, absolutely crazy. I love how they did this. Let's try it. So I suppose first things first, we're gonna take this off and we're gonna grab our bald cap. And we're just gonna bald cap it up. Uh, I don't think I put this on right. There we go. Now we carefully put on the bald cap. Ha -ha! I gotta cut out the ear holes. I've never been very good at cutting out the ear holes for this. So if I do this completely wrong, I'm sorry to whoever is watching and you're like, this is awful, I'm sorry. Now I just have a bald cat mullet. <laughs> Oh my god, that scared me. I forgot you were behind me. And now we're gonna grab some liquid latex. I'm gonna put mine on this plate with some cotton balls. Just roll them up real good. A boo 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 I'm not the best at makeup, but I'm decent with liquid latex, I found. I'm gonna try not to get this on my eyebrows, because I like my eyebrows. boo 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 There we go. Ha ha! 
outline my face with this cotton, just pull it and stretch it out, and then I roll it like this. I'm sure there's a better method, but you know, that's the way I'm doing it. We're looking good so far. I just have to liquid latexify this down onto my face, which is kind of hard because it keeps sticking to the brush. Oh, that got all over my brand new pants. This is getting progressively harder, and I'm almost out of liquid latex. Let's hope I can get this all done. Now I need to put more black around my mouth to make it look like it's a deep, dark void of a mouth. Then we grab our burlap sack, and they just basically cut it up and put it on their face. But I want to look more like Sam from the movie Trick or Treat, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut out some eye holes. Oh, I'm going to regret this. I can already tell. Just cut out the eye holes. This is really scary. Whipping out my eye hole. There we go. On one side, cut out the other side. And then I need a rope to tie it all together. I think I have some rope over here. Oh yes, this twine should do. So I'm just gonna wrap this all around my neck. This is already looking pretty freaking scary regardless. I'm just gonna go in and darken up my eyes. Not gonna lie, this looks pretty freaking spooky so far. What makes it even scarier is, I don't know how I'm gonna get this off. It's literally liquid latex to my face. So this is gonna be fun to clean off later, for sure. I'm just covering all the white spots with some black, that way it looks really spooky. And then for a final touch, I'm gonna add some blood. This blood has definitely seen some better days. I need to order some more blood for the next makeup hacks video because this blood is about at the end of its life. Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Maybe put it on the burlap. I like it. What do you think, spooky ghost face man? I think he likes it too. At least that's my interpretation. And I think it's done. What do you guys think? Is it pretty scary? This is great. It's looking good. But what does Tori Dabransky think? Let's go find out. Okay guys, I told Tori to come check out the new makeup and I'm gonna try and scare her. So I'm just gonna put this hidden camera right over here and she'll never see it coming. I'm gonna try hiding behind the door. This. I'm a scary man. You're a scary man. Do you like it? I mean, I do, but I don't. It's very scary, Robbie. It's glued to my face, so it's stuck on me forever. But other than that, what do you think, Tori Dabransky? I like it. It's gonna be very hard to eat anything in that, but it's pretty cool. I'm gonna need to cut myself some mouth holes, that's for sure. So here's the original Tori Dabransk, and here is mine. What do you think? Does it look similar? Cotton on your head? Yeah, I have cotton in my head. <laughs> I like it, it looks pretty similar. I just didn't add the mouth hole because I tried to look more like Sam from Trick or Treat. That's fair. I know that's one of your favorite movies, so I wanted to give it, what's that thing called? An entourage, a om omnage, omtourage. Homage. Anyway, I'm Sam now. No, it looks pretty good. I could definitely see this being makeup for like a horror house, like a little walkthrough. Yeah. It's pretty good. Thanks, Jordan Bransky. So what would you rate this out of 10? I would give this another solid eight. You hear that, guys? We got eight out of 10. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this makeup tutorial absolutely works. And now I have to figure out how to get this off, Tori Dabransky. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks like this part right down there. Make sure to check out my last Halloween video if you guys like this one. I actually have a bunch of them. But you can start out with this one. It's a pretty good one. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I upload videos every single Saturday. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're done. Okay, bye. Ah! My name is Robbie, and as the craft king of YouTube, I have done a lot of life hacks. And my camera is slowly slipping. And by a lot of life hacks, I mean a, a lot of life hacks. I think we're on like video 300 or something, I don't know. And this video, I would have to say, is one of the silliest life hack videos I've ever seen. So today, we're gonna be trying life hacks from the video. 15 amazing parenting hacks that you're absolutely... Parenting hacks? Oh boy! They're just my favorite! They're literally my favorite! You built me another parenting hacks? Oh boy! I'm gonna get so much work done today! I can't tell if this is sarcasm or not. <laughs> I'm trying to read the situation. It's really hard. So anyway guys, let's try some parenting hacks. Okay guys, so after a nice long day, you sit down and you're like, where the heck is the TV remote? You're looking all over and you have no idea where it is. So what you're gonna wanna do is call over your little interns and... <laughs>
<laughs> okay, wait. Why does this guy still have the instruction manual to his remote? Who keeps the instruction manual to your remote? How do you have better knowledge of where the instruction manual is than where the actual remote is? The buttons literally all say what they do. What else do you need? <laughs> Are those all like haircut designs? So we have like two haircuts, a thing of glasses, and then we have beards. What is this? I'm so confused. Anyway, show your little interns a picture of the remote and you're gonna send your little interns on a journey. A journey to find the remote. The mystery of the missing remote. They're gonna search for you and you don't have to do a thing. Not a single thing. Boom. And eventually one of your little investigators will find your remote. There you go. Problem solved. Okay guys, so here's our remote. And I to find a place to hide this bad boy. A place that the intern will never look. Let's try behind this painting. It works. Perfect. And now the only thing I need is the intern. Oh, intern! Hey, Robbie. Come on, intern. Hurry on down. I'm coming as fast as I can, Robbie. I'm starting to think you should have taken the stairs. Oh, yeah? Well, I mean, you haven't gone that far. Just go back up and go down the stairs. I could come back up. Well, now you're like halfway. Just... No, keep going down. I don't know what to do with you in turn. This was a bad idea. Why would you think taking the lift would be the faster way down? Well, while we have the time just sitting here, uh, what do you want for dinner? How about some chicken tuna salad? Chicken tuna salad, huh? That seems like a very adventurous choice. You're right, Robbie. How about a classic meatloaf sandwich instead? Meatloaf sandwiches! Meatloaf sandwiches! Meatloaf sandwiches! Dude, this lift is literally taking forever. What's up? Oh, welcome to the show intern! Hey, I actually brought a guest with me today. His name is Toby! <laughs> hey everybody! It's great to be here, but thanks for having me! Toby, <laughs> what the heck? What are you doing here? <laughs> anyway, intern, thank you so much for being on the show. I have a very special gift for you. Uh, look underneath your seat. Okay, Robbie. Whoa! You got me a Victorian detective outfit? Yeah, you're gonna be a little detective, and not just you, you also get one. Look underneath your seat, yeah, you, yeah, check it out. Yeah, look at Yeah, you get one too, isn't that amazing? I gave this to you today because I have a mystery for you to solve. A mystery jinkies. Is this thing on? send you on the mystery of finding the missing remotes. Robbie, this is so cool, but I don't think I could do this all by myself. Oh. Well, that's okay, because you're gonna help him. I have to... Is this part of the programming? Oh, fine, I'll do it. Let's go. Man, I need a break. I know, we've been looking everywhere for this thing. I'm sure it's around here somewhere, intern. What do you mean? It's so frustrating. We've literally been looking everywhere. Oh yeah? Yeah, where could it be? Where is it? I'm so 
tired of looking, Robbie. Where could it be? <laughs> Why did you hide it? Uh, I thought it would be a fun game. You have a point, not gonna lie. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Are you tired of your little intern trying to draw on everything and you gotta stop them all the time? They're drawing on this and that and dad and uh, you know, everything. What you're gonna wanna do is put them in a box so they can just draw on the box walls and they are perfectly contained and you no longer gotta worry about them. Okay guys, so the first thing I'm gonna need for this one is some cardboard. This will do, this will do quite nicely actually. And now to put this thing together. giant intern size box. But I am gonna make it better. First thing I'm gonna do is tape it down. I'm also gonna add a door. There we go. It's a little high, but you'll understand in a minute. So along with making this an awesome box fort that he can draw all over, I got him these Sharpies that he can use. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and make this a whole nother level of awesome. Okay, you're good. You're good, bring her down. Keep going. You're good. You're good. Excellent. I'm also gonna fill this whole thing with ball pit balls. Oh man, guys, I think we're gonna need a lot more balls. Oh, oh my gosh, where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? Get me out of here. Get me out of here. Up, 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 up. Go, 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 go. They're invading the box fort. Yes, sir, Commander Toby. This is our box for now. Yes, sir, we will reign as victors. And together, we'll ruin all of Robbie's crafts. Call my new ball minions. Go! Take over this fort. Man, that was really weird. Hey, intern, how's it going there, buddy? Hey, it's good. I'm just drawing. One of my favorite hobbies in the entire world. <laughs> and that's exactly why I made a special surprise for you. No way, you made me a surprise? Yeah, come here. Just, just okay. roll right over. There you go! Whoa, dude, I didn't even notice this year. I made you your very own box for it. Here, jump inside. For real? Yeah, go inside. And it's filled with balls in here. Dude, box forts are awesome. Of even better. I love balls. And with these sharpies, you can draw all over the walls. Whoa! I didn't even see you get those sharpies. I can draw everywhere in this box fort. You can draw anywhere you want inside the box fort. That way, you don't keep drawing all over my walls. <gasps> Bro, let's go. Have fun, buddy. Just draw all over the walls. Do whatever you want. Thank you, Robbie. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Monster trucks are awesome. Yeah. Monster truck! Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! Drive him on your dad's head! Drive him on his face! You know what's better than one monster truck? Two oh, no. monster trucks! Get him out of here! Hey, you want me to give you a back rub? How does this feel? Is this a good back rub? And you're just super tired of this? You're gonna wanna say, sit down! And then you're gonna go inside your favorite junk drawer and then pull out a big old tangled thing of headphones. And then you're gonna give them to them and be like, hey, I need you to untangle these for me. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just wrapped around his face. Hours, if not, probably realistically seconds of entertainment for your little intern. And now you can enjoy your Italian cooking book. You're gonna be a true chef. <laughs> but will this hack actually make me a chef? No, probably not. <sighs> okay guys, it's been about an hour and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and check up on the intern and see how he's liking this ball pit. What the heck? Intern, where are you? <laughs> Hey, Robbie. Oh. oh my gosh. Intern, what What are you doing? What, what, why are you under there? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm just pretty bored. How are you bored? You have this whole thing of balls and all these walls to ride on. How could you possibly be bored? Writer's block. <laughs> <laughs> okay, give me a moment. I think I have the perfect solution for this. I'll be right back, okay? Sound good? Okay. Okay, give me a moment, buddy. 
Okay, let's find some tangled cables. I think these will do. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Oh, these are perfect. Yeah, I'll just grab a handful of these guys. Oh, intern! Hi, Robbie. Hey, buddy. Uh, I know you're really bored in here and you feel like you got nothing to do and there's nothing left in life to accomplish, but I found you something new to do. I need you to untangle these cables for me. You're gonna make me work? That's it? Yeah, uh, just untangle all these cables. Have a good time. I heard that little interns love doing that sort of stuff. This is so boring. Uh, you're gonna make me work? Yeah, so anyway, I expect those cables untangled in the next hour. I'll see you later, okay, buddy? <laughs> well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. <laughs> so you have your little intern on the couch, and they're just watching Spider-Man, their favorite Disney Marvel character, and you're like, it's time for you to go to bed. And they're like, I don't want to go to bed. And you tuck them in, and you're like, okay, it's time for bed. Sleep on your couch. And they're like, ha, joke's on you. I got a TV in my room. So they keep watching their favorite Marvel superhero. And you're like, okay, I see you. So what you do is you grab your Spider-Man mask and you say, hey, it's time for you to go to bed. And then you get that video and you play it on the computer. Hey, it's your favorite Spider-Man here and it's time for you to go to bed. And then your little intern's gonna be like, I believe you because you're Spider-Man. And then they'll drift right off to sleep. Okay guys, so I think that the intern is just really cranky and he needs a nap and that is why he's so upset. So I don't actually have Spider-Man mask, but I do have all these masks that I made for Halloween. So let's see, out of all of these, Oh my gosh, here we go! I can be Venom, another Marvel favorite. I mean, it's not Spider-Man, but it's close. It's in the Spider-Verse, right? Take that off. Here we go, I'm just gonna become Venom. There we go. Oh my gosh, I look fantastic. You know, minus the blue hair, I don't think that the intern's gonna notice. Okay, so here we go. Hey intern, how you doing? It's your favorite Marvel superhero, Venom. Um, Spider-Man couldn't be here today. One minute, 37 seconds later. <gasps> Yeah, I think that'll do it. Let's show this to the intern. <laughs> hey, intern, how's it going there, buddy? It's going all right. I'm still a little sad, though, for, because of my writer's block. Well, I recently saw your favorite Marvel superhero. Spider-Man? Sorry, your second favorite Marvel superhero, Angie, made a very special message for you, and I want to show you it. Here, let's watch it together, okay? Okay. Hey, intern, how you doing? It's your favorite Marvel superhero, Venom. Um, Spider-Man can be here today, but I'm here to tell you uh, that you should take a nap because naps are great for little superheroes, and especially super great for little interns like you. Uh, so take a nap and have a great day. Uh, Venom out. Peace, love, and Venom. See? Venom said that you should have a good day, so she, you should have a good day and take a nap, see? You understand? If Venom is saying to do it, you should do it. Robbie, why are you wearing a really bad Venom mask? What do you mean? That's, that's a, that, that's a real, it was, it was re I didn't spend a long time on that mask, okay? That's, in turn, I tried really hard on the mask and I tried to make it look good. That looks horrible, bro. That's literally you. That's not me. It's uh, Venom. It was 100% Venom. So, what do you say, pal? Do you feel like taking a nap? No, I'm terrified because you look so freaking ugly in that mask. That's so dumb. Okay, well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, doesn't work. Also, I lost my phone in the ball pit. Um, I'll see you later in turn. Okay guys, so when I was little, my mom used to drive me around in a car until I fell asleep. And it was basically a guarantee that I would fall asleep. So maybe that will work with the intern. But honestly guys, gas prices are really high right now. So I'm gonna try just pushing him around in the shopping cart instead. Oh intern! Yeah Robbie? Hey, I got this shopping cart here. You wanna come out and I'll push you around? Only if I could bring my balls. Yeah, that's fine, you can bring your balls. <laughs> A few moments later. Oh, there you go. Oh, yes. You see? This is much better, Robbie. Yeah, I think one more scoop ought to do it. No, it's so full. No, Robbie. Is, okay, okay. I think that's enough. Oh, okay. Are you ready to go for a little walk in turn? Yeah, sure. Okay, here we go. Pretty nice, Robbie. You're getting pretty sleepy, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys, he's actually falling asleep. Oh, it actually worked. Hey, hey, hey. What's up? Oh my gosh. 
Oh, okay, I'll, I'll keep pushing him. Yeah, good. Good. <laughs> <sighs> Guys. I'm getting really tired. I think I might know a life hack for this. No, I'll be right back in turn. So you're outside and you're smelling the roses. Are those roses? Cherry blossoms, I guess. So you're just on your way and you're just strolling along with your little intern and your legs are just so tired. And you're pushing and pushing and you've been pushing the stroller forever and you're just super tired and you just can't handle it anymore. Your legs are giving out. Your arms are weak. Knees are heavy. Mob spaghetti. So what you're gonna want to do is grab yourself a hoverboard and push that baby around. There you go. You don't don't have to worry about it anymore. You're never gonna have tired legs again. But could this actually work? Okay guys, I don't have a hoverboard, but I do have a one wheel. You ready for some real fun, intro? Real fun, I, I thought I was taking a nap. Yeah, it's gonna be a real fun nap. Just, yeah, keep going to bed, go, keep going to sleep. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Oh my! You're hanging out with your kid and you're like, hey, eat your cereal. And they're like, no way. Well, you know what would be cool? If you ate your cereal. No way. And you're just tired of this. You're like, what am I gonna do with you? How am I gonna get you to eat this? So here's the ultimate solution. You're gonna put the Wi-Fi password at the bottom of the bowl. Then you're gonna disconnect the Wi-Fi and they're gonna be like, what's the Wi-Fi password? Well, I'll tell you, if you eat all your cereal, and there you go, they are have to eat all the cereal and when they're done, boom, there's your Wi-Fi password. There you go. Okay guys, so I went around the box another 12 dozen times and... Oh my gosh, oh Anyway, I went around another 12 dozen times and I figured out that this is just not sustainable. I figure out another way to do this. So what I'm gonna do is make the intern a little snack and give him a little hint to what I think he should do. So we're just gonna go ahead and put a message right inside the bowl. Fill this bad boy up with some cereal. And the intern's actually lactose intolerant, so no milk for him. Hello, intern. Hi, Robbie. What are you doing here? I made you a very special snack. I figured you might be uh, a little bit hungry. I am. What's your favorite? Cocoa Pebbles with no milk because you're lactose intolerant. That's so sweet of you. Thank you, Robbie. No problem, buddy. Yeah, go ahead and just eat up and just enjoy your cereal. Why um, is your paper in here? The paper? Uh, don't even, don't even worry about that paper. What are you doing to my cereal? I didn't do anything to your cereal, okay? Oh, hey. Yeah, that's on your to-do list in turn. Now you start to go to sleep. I need you to do this for me. But Robbie, I can't go to sleep. Why can't you go to sleep? Because my lady intern usually reads me a bedtime story before bed. Wait, so you want me to read you a bedtime story? Yeah, she does it all night, 12 hours, 7 days a week. <sighs> okay, I guess I'll read you a little bedtime story, I guess. So you're reading a bedtime story to your little intern, and then they fall asleep very graciously. So you sneak away, and then they wake right back up, because they're like, hey! Why'd you stop reading? So you come back and you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna keep reading to you, but you gotta go to sleep. This process basically goes on and on all night. So you have a great idea, so you sneak away for a moment and you read the entire bedtime story. The entire thing. <laughs> Either way, you're reading a story, what? This is so bad. Words. Okay, I just had to take a second. So you're telling me the way to get out of reading a story to your kid is by reading a story on your phone and then playing that to your kid. I feel like this is just a good way to put some distance between you and your child. <laughs> So you sneak away and you read the entire bedtime story. And then six hours later, you're still very much awake. So what you're gonna wanna do is start reading and reading to them softly and quietly until they drift off to sleep. And when you, they drift off to sleep, you just play the audio of you reading the book. And there you go, the perfect way to abandon someone while they're sleeping. <sighs> okay guys, so I have the Brothers Grimm here. I'm just gonna read this really quick. It shouldn't take very long, it's only... 80 pages! Oh my gosh, and I am dyslexic. Okay, this is gonna go great. The magic world of fairies, witches, and goblins opens before us in the Grimm's fairy tales, but they may be memorable characters and await the reader of this complete collection. One eternity later. I'm sorry there is no situation suitable for you in the castle, replied the king. I know the maiden who has a number of geese. To look through, the sky was blue. I 
iron money chest. Length one want and told the king's children. Has been there the safest protection against adders, snakes, and everything else which creeps on earth. I was supposed to record it! Oh! Dang it! Dude, that was like, that was like 12 hours of reading. Oh! Okay. I'll try this again, but I'm gonna make sure to record it. Two thousand years later. Okay, in turn, I got this book. It's the Grim Fairy Tales, and I'm gonna read you one of my favorite stories. You ready? It's Rapunzel. It's a great one. Just lay down, All right. relax, take a good nap. I'll read you this entire book, no problem. There once was a little girl who had super long hair for no reason, and it was just so wildly long that there would be people All right. who... And it would just be so incredibly long, like, it was like Medusa's hair, you know? It was like the opposite, though, but because it was so beautiful. Let me keep reading. This is my third go-around, so I kind of know the story already. So basically, after she puts her hair out the window, this dude just yanks on it and climbs all the way up to her window, and ha they hang out, like, all night. Isn't that so cool, intern? Oh my god, he's actually asleep. Okay, I'm gonna play the video really quick. She hastily gathered a handful of lettuces and then brought... Guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a big ol' thumbs up. I'll like this fight right down there. If you guys like this video and you guys want to watch even more funny parenting life hack videos, I actually have a whole playlist you can watch right here. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Okay, guys, I'll see you again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward ending. Okay, bye. Ah! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than normal. So around October this last year, I did a series where I painted a bunch of fun spirit Halloween masks. And on one of those trips to spirit Halloween, I got this dragon. I think it's one of the coolest things that they sell. Pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Now I have my own skeleton dragon. So I was like, I wonder if this would look cooler if I put skin on it. And I didn't want to use this guy because, you know, it's it looks awesome. So I went ahead and ordered another one. And to my surprise, it's a lot smaller. <laughs> I feel like I was falsely advertised. But anyway, now I have a big dragon and a little dragon. Pretty cute, right? I mean, I'm not upset. This was half the price of this one, so I guess that makes sense. So anyway, I decided to put skin on this one, you know, start off small. I don't want to make the same mistake as I did with my pizza table. That was the first time I ever used epoxy resin. So that got me wondering, how should I paint him? What should I make him look like once I put skin on him? And then I realized he looks just like a Charizard. So I'm gonna have to make some minor modifications but I can totally make this guy into a char- And the best part is I'm even gonna give him a flame tail. I hope that works out. Let's begin. Okay guys, so the first thing I think I wanna do is try and take apart this lighter and see what exactly makes this thing work. Oh gosh. I'm guessing that this whole thing just kind of comes apart like this. I'm gonna go ahead and get a mallet. Okay, promising, promising. I don't smell gas yet. Oh my gosh, so inside of this lighter, there's just another lighter. Oh, so this little thing holds it on. This is making a lot more sense now. Okay, so it looks like we have a lighter right here. We have all of our wires and things. I have to figure out how I'm gonna take all this and put it inside of this guy. Ooh, this is already looking easy peasy. I think this will work. I could even take off his tail and just replace it with this. Or maybe I could put this inside of his tail somehow. I'm gonna mess around with this and really get to know how this whole thing works. Maybe watch a video or two? I'll be right back. So what I'm gonna do for the fire tail is I'm gonna have this little tube going up through his tail. I'll have to drill a hole going straight through and then you can have this little tube off to the side with a lighter attached and then all you gotta do is light it. Boom, you have fire. So now that I decided how I'm gonna do that, I also noticed that this guy doesn't quite look very Charizard-like. For one, Charizard doesn't stand on all fours. So I'm gonna have to fix that. And then his arms are way too long. Charizard has tiny arms, guys. He has tiny arms, he's a dinosaur. I think I'm actually going to swap this. Maybe turn this around. I'm gonna mess around with this a little bit. Okay, that definitely looks a little bit more Charizard-like. The only gripe I have now is I kind of wish his tail would let him stand up a little easier. But you know, I'm gonna work on that. Go ahead and take that whole tail off. How are you standing up now, buddy? Not too well. I think what I want to do is cut this little bit off and then essentially remake it so that it's over here. So I have to carefully cut his tailbone off. 
just the top of it. If you're doing this at home, please be very careful. There we go. Oh, yes. And I can even flip it so that the more spiny part is facing up. Go ahead and put back that screw. And with the real Charizard, please stand up. <gasps> We're making progress. That's fine, I can fix that. I think maybe if I switch out these feet, it'll help a little bit because these feet are ever so slightly bigger. Oh yes, that's much better. And you can even poke it if you want to. Okay, maybe not. This is something that you cannot poke. You're not allowed to poke this, I'm sorry. Okay, so the more that I was looking at Charizard's hands, I just couldn't figure out how the heck I would make these look like his hands. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and make them from scratch. So here I have some dark anti-lead wire. I think that's just a fancy term for jewelry wire. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and attempt to make his arms using these. I'm not sure how well this is gonna work, but I'm gonna try my darn best. You know, that's all I can really do. I have this string, I'm gonna try to wrap it around and maybe that will sort of flatten all this a little bit better. So I'm basically just wrapping the whole thing in the string to make his arm. Put a little bit of extra string in the middle for his elbow. There we go, that's not bad. I have the general shape now of an arm. I might go in and add a little bit more beef in his hands, but overall I like how this looks and after I put latex on it, it's gonna look even better. Now I just gotta figure out how the heck I want to attach it to his body. Anyway, I'll figure that out. And this is what he looks like with his arms. Not bad so far. So he's standing up and he has proper arms. So far so good. So now I'm gonna backpedal a little bit and take the tail back off and carve a small groove on this tail. That way I can take the lighter hose and just insert it right in there. I'm gonna go ahead and use a sharpie to draw lines where I wanna put the little groove. Okay, so now that that's all done, I'm gonna carefully insert the lighter tube. Oh, yes. I'll have it extend just a little bit past the actual tail. That fits just about perfectly in there. There you go. Using some of this liquid latex, I'm gonna go ahead and carefully glue it down. I ended up using a little bit of tape to kind of hold it in place. Hopefully that actually holds it, and when I go to take off the tape, it doesn't mess it up. But yeah, I'm basically gonna do that for the entire tail. So now I'm gonna try and get him to be in the position that I want him when he's done. This looks about good. So I'm going to take some super glue and just glue his legs in place. That way they can't move anymore. Okay, latex is dry. Now I'm removing some of the tape that's holding it on. Then we reattach the tail. I'm just going to leave this tube kind of over here in kind of an unnoticeable spot. Down by his leg. Yeah, I think our skeleton so far, I've done pretty good. He's standing up now. And now we have to add some skin. There's only one other minor touch. Charizard doesn't have ears, so I got to cut off his ears. Easy fix. Oh yes, that is much more Charizard-like. I'm not sure whether I want to add the wings yet. I might just leave a little hole. That way I kind of know where it's going to go. So I think it's about time for me to start fleshing this guy out. Literally. Now I'm going to go in and sort of coat everything in latex. Just cover everything I can and make it almost like a primer. The strings on his hands have kind of come loose a little bit, so I'm going to go ahead and clip some of those off. That looks a lot better, so I'm just going to keep adding that latex. Now I'm gonna go in and take a little bit of tissue, but it doesn't need to be that thick, so I'm gonna kind of separate it by the ply. Now I'm gonna take that tissue and carefully put it over, start fleshing them out. A little bit more latex, yeah. I sort of had an oversight and I completely forgot about the eyes. So using a clear blue bead like this, I'm gonna take a little trip to my circular sander. Is it even called a circular sander? Anyway, I just grounded it down to look like his eyes and that's basically all I did. Okay, now getting back to the latex, I basically just add a fine layer of latex all over this bad boy, start adding the tissue. This was looking fine and dandy, but then I realized one very important thing. Okay guys, so I've been working on this for the past two days, and I was just taking a really good look at him, and I was like, he doesn't really look perfectly like Charizard. Something just feels very off, okay? And I think I finally figured it out. Charizard has basically like a pear body. Look at this. That's a pear! That boy is thick, okay? Now our boy? Yeah. Not so thick. But if I flip it upside down, yeah. So, <laughs> I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy, do some plastic surgery, if you will, and I'm gonna flip his entire body upside down, and then I'll have a thick bottom with a skinny top, and then I'll put his head up here. Ah, why didn't I see this before? 
or uh, I feel so silly. One eternity later. Okay, I got all the latex off. I took the legs off. I got the tail off, the arms off. So now I guess the only thing I have to do is cut off his neck because this is one solid piece. Very unfortunate I have to do it this way, but you know. Now I just have to put Charizard's head on here. Oh my gosh, that's so much more proportion to Charizard actually. Maybe a little bit of wire. You could probably almost like hollow this out and shove that inside of there. Then I shove some wire and hot glue in that bad boy and just sort of shove them together. So that definitely looks a lot more like a Charizard. So now I'm gonna take his legs and put them on the opposite side because if I put them on the original side, they just kind of go in a little bit too much and I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm just gonna go and sort of cut off some of the extra plastic on here and then drill a little hole so that I can put a screw in it. Screw his legs back in, readjust his arms. Okay guys, I managed to get the arms back on. I kind of had like a convoluted wire way to get the arms to stay in place because I had a lot less to work with than at the bottom. But overall, Charizard is looking way more proportional to how he did before. I'm gonna put this tail back on somehow and then we're gonna reskin it. Oh my gosh, this has been such an adventure so far. So now I'm just gonna use some wire to put his tail in place and just use some pliers to make sure that it's tight down. Here's me showing off the Charizard. I'm very proud of it. Look, his tail even still works. Fantastic, good for me. Now we're gonna go ahead and start fleshing him out again. I almost completely finished this last time and we're just gonna quickly go through this. Very easy, it's basically paper mache, but instead of newspaper and glue, you're gonna be using some latex and paper tissues. It just makes him have this really wrinkly look that I really like. It makes him feel like a real lizard when he dries. Okay guys, so now it's time to work on the wings. So I'm basically gonna be doing these very similar to how I did the Charizard body. I'm gonna be covering them all up in latex and then carefully put some tissue over it. Boom. Now I'm going to carefully cut off the excess. So now I'm taking a paper towel, a little bit thicker. I'm just gonna go ahead and separate it by ply again. This one doesn't have a very good pattern on it, but this one looks very scaly. So I'm gonna go ahead and basically cover Charizard in it. I already started, as you can see. I really like the scales a lot better than the wrinkly look, so that's why I'm going with that. So now that I put latex all over his eyes, I have to carefully remove it. I tried a few different methods. I tried a Dremel, and then eventually I sort of got it using X-Acto knives. So it's about two in the morning right now, and Tori woke up and came in to see what I was doing and she basically said I had to make him a little more thick so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and try and give him a little bit more girth and the way I'm gonna do that is a little latex like you do and then take a little cotton ball and kind of unroll it now I'm just gonna put this right on there maybe on his sides yeah Charizard has to be a thick boy let's go ahead and add some more liquid latex now I'm gonna get the paper towel and just put it on there and he looks better on this side already. Now I'm gonna do it to the other side. Okay, so the wings are dry. They kind of look like bat wings right now. They look really crazy. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and flip them over and add the scaly parts on the back. Six and a half hours later. So now that I have the wings all done, textured how I like, it's time to get to painting. I'm gonna go with a classic orange, cause that's what color Charizard is. Dude, this is turning out so good. I am so happy with this. And uh, boo -boo -boo, flip this bad boy over. I'm only gonna paint kind of like the perimeter of this. Okay guys, we're almost in the clear. It's currently about five in the morning. I've been working on this for almost 10 hours straight, but I think it's turning out absolutely fantastic. And I really like how the latex dry it looks very, very realistic. I'm really happy with it. So now I just gotta paint this bad boy. Okay, so now that I'm about 25 hours into it, he's looking really good. He has the general shape. He's looking very scaly. He's looking very wrinkly in the right places. I'm really liking how this turns out, but we need to do one more thing. I'm gonna go ahead and try and put the wings on without hurting everything that I've just done. So I successfully got the wings on, and now I need to cover these up with latex. Oh boy, you thought I was done with latex, but no. Nope, here we are, more latex. So after repainting his back and finishing up all the little details, I really wanted to find a way to hide the lighter inside of Charizard so that I didn't have to see it. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it to work. Uh, I tried different lighters. So I ended up trying to put a rubber band on it and make it stay lit, but that didn't work. So I ended up taking the entire lighter apart and attached it using the mechanism thing. Many lighters were harmed in the making of this video and I can't deny that, uh, but can you really deny how utterly awesome the results of how fantastic this 
turned out. Anyway, guys, I hope you really like this video. Uh, let me know down in the comments down below what Pokemon I should make next, or if you think I should just never do this again and stick to crafts. That's fine, too. Okay, guys, I love you so much, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're netting. Okay, bye! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And the intern put in a two week notice recently and I really don't want him to leave. He keeps on avoiding me. Huh? So I'm gonna be trying some parenting hacks from the video. 28 parenting hacks from crafty moms and dads. Tips for being friends with your child. By five minute crafts. Guys, if this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Okay guys, so I think one of the reasons the intern wants to leave is because I always make him work up in the scary, hot attic, and I could understand why that wouldn't be so fun. So I'm gonna go up there and tell him he doesn't have to work up there anymore. Oh yeah, he's taking a trip into my deep, dark, spooky attic. Oh, oh hey intern. Hey. How you doing, buddy? Everything okay? No, no, not that good, dude. I think something bit me up here. What? Oh. Yeah, on my forehead. What the heck? Oh my god! You have an eye growing out of your forehead! Yeah, but dude, I freaking hurts. Okay, intern, I think I have the perfect solution. I'll be right back, okay? So, your little intern comes to you and they're like, ow, I got a boo-boo! So you're like, oh, I'm just gonna put a little band-aid on it. And they keep resisting. No! No! I don't want the band-aid, mummy! So what you're gonna wanna do is draw some animals on them. Fun fact, interns absolutely love animals. So, if you draw animals on their band-aids, they'll be like, oh, this is so cute! I would love to have this on me! And they'll totally go for it. It works every time. Watch. Okay guys, so here are our band-aids. I'm gonna start off with one, and I think we're gonna try and keep it simple and do the turtle first. So we start off with the, the round shell, then we do the hexagonal patterns, then we draw his little legs, his little turtle head, and then we fill in the color. I'm gonna make this a purple turtle with maybe some blue spots on his shell and a little red head. Oh no! The shell got a little messed up, but it's okay. Now we're just gonna let this bad boy dry and uh, we'll see how the intern likes it. Okay, intern, I made you this really cool band-aid. It has a turtle on it and I think you're absolutely gonna love it. Yeah, just cover it up, put it on your forehead. It'll look fantastic. Here you go, intern. Yeah, just put it, just stick it right on there. There you go. How's that? Do you think that'll work? No, I think this looks ridiculous, man. Like, this is dumb. Like, it looks stupid. Okay, okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go make you something really quick. Oh, okay, intern, I am back. I cut off the sleeves on my Pizza Pixel shirt, my favorite shirt, as you know, and I made us matching headbands. Oh, yo, dude, that's so cool. Yeah, you have this awesome matching headband with me. You look fantastic in it. Now we have matching headbands. Oh, dude, thanks. I can't believe you and I are the only people who have these. No, actually. Actually, I put them on my merch store. If you guys want one of these, you can click the link down description down below to go buy my merch and get yourself a headband. Did you really only do this as a merch plug? Like, is this not actually about me, Robbie? No. Uh, like, dude, I got bit and you're just plugging your merch right now. Anyway, okay, uh, okay, I gotta go. Uh, I'll see you later, intern. Have a good one, buddy. Uh, you should get out of, the, out of the attic. It's really hot up here. Yeah, uh, maybe I will. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. So you set up a play date with your friend's intern and your little intern, and they're not really getting along too well. They're fighting over their toys, and they come to you and they're screaming, and they're like, oh, they did this, they did that, they punched me. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab an extra large shirt and write the best friends. And then you put them together and then put the shirt right over them. And now they're forced to like each other and problem solved. This would definitely never escalate a situation. If Five Minute Crafts says it'll work, I bet that this is a great solution for the intern. Okay guys, so here is our extra, extra large t-shirt. Don't need this sticker anymore. Ah! Anyway, I'm gonna grab this cutting board and put it inside of the shirt. This is gonna do two things. It's gonna make sure my shirt is nice and straight and stretched out so when I draw on it, it's not gonna be too hard. And also, it's gonna prevent the ink from spilling over to the other side of the t-shirt. Now, I don't really need the best friends backward on my t-shirt, so that's why we're doing this. Now, in my best, incredibly tidy handwriting, I'm just gonna write the best of friends. Drawing on a t-shirt has always been not one of my strong suits, so I'm sorry in advance. 
Okay, this looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and take out our cutting board. Let's try this out with the intern. Oh, hey intern, how's it going, buddy? Bruh. What do you want? I got you the shirt to prove that we are the best of friends. You got me a shirt? Yeah, I got you a shirt. Here, try it on. Yeah, try really just a... Jesus. Don't do that anymore. Oh, boy. Yeah, isn't that a really cool shirt? I mean, it looks like it was drawn on by a child. What? You... That's my handwriting. Oh, wait, you're wearing it wrong. Can you take your arm out of the sleeve really quick? Robbie, it's a little too big. Yeah, it's because I'm supposed to go in what with What are you, you doing? Robbie, yeah, Robbie. I'm supposed dude. to go. Give me some personal space. <laughs> Bro. We are one now. I don't want to be one, dude. <laughs> Look, intern, we are the best of friends now, and we can uh, skip around and dance and prance. I Here, let's play the not my arms challenge. I don't know. What kind of challenge can we play right now? We could play the get out of the t-shirt challenge. No, um, let's try and fold a paper airplane really quick. Okay, okay, okay. We could okay, do well, uh, <sighs> oh, Okay, intern, so we are going to be doing the make a paper airplane challenge. Ravi, I would much rather have my personal space right now. Personal space, personal mace. So here, uh, you're gonna have your right hand and I'm gonna use my left hand and we're gonna try and make ourselves a paper airplane. So here, first things first, we're gonna wanna fold it in half here. You wanna fold it over my side? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Fold it in half, buddy. Good job. See? Okay, you know what to do next? No, not really, actually. Okay, so uh, you're basically, here, grab that part. Thank you so much. So uh, we're gonna want to take this and then fold it just like that. Like oh, this. no, no, th like that on the other side. Oh, like this. Yeah, like so this. we're both gonna want to do that. Maybe not at the same time. I guess we can at the same time. It's working out fine. We're both pretty good with our hands here, aren't we? Dude, don't say weird things. Okay, so here's the next one. Now you fold it again. Can you help me actually fold this one? This one's a bit of a, a, a tougher fold. Like this? Yeah, like that. And you crease it. We're a little bit off here, buddy. Like, no, you're too much, too much. There, there you go. Yeah, perfect. Looks good. Can you crease it right there? Just go. There you go. Yeah, just like that, you go. Okay, now I'll, I'll help you fold this one. I'll fold this side. You're doing great. Now do that on your side. Crease it down. And then we flip it over. Fold in that guy. There you go. There we go, see? Teamwork, we built an airplane in turn. This is a really crappy plane. But we did it together, and its I think it turned out fantastic. Do you wanna throw it? Uh, I really have work I need to do, Robbie. Um, here, I'll just let you, here, let's try it. Uh, let's see, let's have you throw it really quick. You want me to throw it? Yeah, throw it. Okay. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. I've never felt closer to the intern in my life. Yeah, me neither. I'll oh. see you later. Oh. oh, intern. Oh, what are you doing? You're organizing all my stuff in my beauty corner? This is great, thank you so much. What do you need, Robbie? I figured since you love touching my makeup so much, I decided to make you your very own makeup. How does that sound? Um, okay. I don't know, it's a little weird. Okay, perfect, I'll be right back with your makeup. Uh, stay here, keep doing what you're doing. Doing fantastic, buddy. Uh, please don't quit, uh, stay here. Okay, uh, bye. Just grab a bit of coconut oil. Chocolate drops? Why are they red? I don't know why the chocolate drops are red. You grab your chocolate drops, melt it over a candle fire, and then put it into a lipstick tube. Let it cool down for a bit, and boom, you got yourself an edible lipstick tube. Never gotta worry about your little intern eating your lipstick ever again. And if they do, at least this one's just made out of coconut and chocolate. Okay guys, so here's our lipstick tube. As you can see, there's still a bit of lipstick in it, so we're just gonna go ahead and take that out really quick. Oh. Mm. You know, the intern's not allowed to eat this, but I am and it tastes great. And now that we have our empty lipstick tube, I'm gonna go ahead and put it all the way back down. Then we're gonna break out our chips and our coconut oil. Put a couple of these chips in a metal spoon, along with a little bit of our coconut oil. Boopity boop. Oh, that's way too much. And now we melt it all down. I feel like there has to be a more convenient way to do this. I need a bigger blowtorch. Here we go, this one's a little better. Here we go. It's starting to burn the chocolate a little bit, but it smells fantastic. Oh yes, nothing like some molten chocolate to really wake you up in the morning. All the coconut oil and the white chocolate is just caramelizing together, and it's just making this beautiful smell. It almost looks like marshmallows. Oh yes, this looks fantastic, and now it's time to put our molten concoction that's still on fire into our toothpaste tube. Be really careful with this. I actually would not do this at home, personally. Um, it's not coming out, so I'm just gonna shove it 
right into our tube. This is working swimmingly. I'm just gonna get a little toothpick and push it all in there. I'm hoping this will work. They didn't do this in the video, but you know, I'm a little desperate here. Just gather all the stuff back into your toothpaste tube. Absolutely great, this looks fantastic. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let this cool down for a little bit and uh, we'll see how it turns out. A few moments later. Hey intern, I'm back with your makeup. I made you some lipstick. I know that you absolutely love lipstick and you love makeup, so as you can see, it turned out really good. It looks absolutely delicious and I want you to try it. Robbie, this looks rotten. It smells like it's burnt. <laughs> No, I'm not trying that. <laughs> Why would I put that on my Here, face? I'll try it instead. It's chocolate and, uh, and coconut oil and everything that a little intern could ever want. It looks really delicious. Ooh. Dude, mm. That's gross. Ow, it hurts my lips. And the best part about this, this lipstick intern is you can eat it. Holy Jesus. You're freaking gross, bro. Are you no, going insane? No, no. Why are you eating lipstick? Pretty tasty. You want to try some? No. Here, try dude, some this of this lipstick. Gross. I'm not. Just try a little bite. Just I'm a little not. Macaroni on these lips. I'm not. Your your lips need to be voluptuized. Come on, intern. No, try stop. It. All right, all right. It's good. It's good. Just just there you go. See? Just put it all over. Very really gross. Doesn't that taste really? No. Nice? Why does it hurt? It's, it's so hard. I told dude, you. Dude, stop. Chocolate. Stop. It's burnt chocolate. Stop, dude. You're gross. Take a little bite. I got one little bite. Now tell me that's actually that bad. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. That's delicious, dude. Mm. Oh, how's it going, intern? What you doing there? Your taxes, like you told me to do. Oh, uh, oops, I forgot. Um, wait, is that is that a phone? Why? What's that? Yeah, it's my iPhone. I'm using the calculator app. Intern, uh, growing up, they always told me you can just carry a calculator in your pocket wherever you go, and I have that same belief, and I think that you should just uh. <sighs> Yeah, you don't need that anymore. Um, I made you something even better. You're gonna absolutely love it. Are you just having a terrible time learning math? Just a super hard time? Well, what you're gonna wanna do is get some used drinking cups and you're gonna wanna write a bunch of numbers on them and then you get another used drinking cup and then boom, you can now practice multiplication, subtraction. I don't really know how this works as a calculator. <laughs> Okay guys, so here are our cups. We have four of them. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna have to do is write some numbers. And then we do a plus and a minus. Then we do some more numbers. And we add an equal sign. And on our last cup, we just add even more numbers. And there we go. Let's try it ourselves. One. Minus 13 equals 12. Oh my gosh, how did this thing know? Okay, let's see if this improves the intern's math skills. So I made you this um, cup calculator. It works extremely well. Here you go. What? Dude, just try it. Just this try This isn't it. a phone. This is ridiculous. What do you mean? It's a calculator nonetheless. 12 plus 14 equals nine? That's how correct, isn't it? <laughs> no. 14 plus 14 equals, equals what? What's next, fish? There isn't even one here. It's two, three, four. Where's the one? Dude. In turn, look, I don't know. I, I was just following the craft. If you're saying it didn't work, I trust your judgment, okay? This one absolutely, it doesn't work, okay? I'm just as upset as you are. Yeah, could you buy me a new phone? No. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna go in turn. I'm testing these crafts Bro, today. I'm not gonna be able to get this done. Hey. Oh, yes. Here we are, a young intern. How you doing there, buddy? What are you sucking on? A lollipop. Oh, bro. Nice, thank you. Bro, why'd you take it from me? I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so this little girl keeps dropping her banking on the floor. Ew, is that hair? Ugh. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab a helium balloon and attach your binky straight to it. That way, when they drop it, instead of dropping it, it just goes whoo. There we go. And it'll never be on the floor again. I just really hope that you don't have vaulted ceilings. Okay, guys, so here is our lollipop. And the first thing I'm gonna do is vice it down. Oh, yes. That thing's not going anywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and tie a string onto it, just like this. Perfect. Maybe even add a little bow. You know, it's not my best work, but it'll do. Then I go ahead and snip the end. Oh. Then we grab our helium tank, blow up our balloon. Oh, wow. Okay. That's too much helium there. And then we carefully tie the ribbon onto it. 
Okay, here we go, all good, nice and secure. Now I need to unvice my lollipop. Are you guys ready for the big test? Okay, here we go. I'm gonna let go of the balloon. I think I might need a bigger balloon because uh, the ribbon is too heavy for this one. Do you get this much helium out of this big of a tank? I'll never understand. This is our original balloon, and this is our new one. I think uh, this should fix the problem. I'll even add it to the other balloon. There we go. Now I'm going to drop the balloon. <gasps> now drop the lollipop. Oh my gosh, it works! It's just floating here. This is the ultimate plan. Okay, now let's go try this out on the intern. What up, intern? I brought you back your lollipop. It's better than ever. It has a string attached to it that ominously goes to the sky. I don't trust what you did to this lollipop, Robbie. Nah, dude, I'm gonna rinse it off real quick. I didn't do a single bad thing to it. I just made it better in every single way. There you go, see? It, it pulls you up a little bit. Now, if you decide to spit it out, it does a magical thing. See? Now, if you ever want your lollipop again, you just reach up, and there you go. You'll never drop your lollipop ever again. Wow. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Get it, intern, get it. There you go. Wasn't this a great idea? I hate you. Okay, uh, I'll see you later, man. Uh, have fun cleaning, I guess. God! Intern, are you okay? <laughs> oh, what happened, bro? I didn't expect that to pop. Yeah. What did it pop on? I don't know what it is. Screws. <laughs> Intern, I need you to fix all these screws. No! Oh, it's 4.32, and you guys know what that means. Hello, is anyone in the bathroom? Oh, hey, Robbie. Uh, oh, hey, intern. Uh, sorry, did I disturb you? You can continue your shower if you need to. No, it's okay. I was just getting out of the bath. Okay, okay. Uh, sweet. Okay. Guys, the intern left all of his toys in the bath again! Well, maybe if I clean it up, he'll appreciate me and he'll want to stay. I actually know the perfect hack for this. Take it away, Robbie. So you wrap them up after they get out of the bath, and then you go to clean up their toys, and what do you do? You grab a big basket? Oh, you just scoop all the toys up. Wow, that's fantastic. What an easy life hack. So the first thing I'm gonna need is a laundry basket. And luckily, I have one right here. And then we're gonna simply take our laundry basket and just scoop up all of the intern's toys. There we go. There you go, intern. I'm just gonna take our laundry basket and just casually pick up all the intern's toys. This would be a lot easier if it wasn't one-handed. I might as well just... Oh. This is the intern's bath water! I was really trying to avoid this. Ugh. Okay. Disgusting. Oh. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Huh? <gasps> oh my gosh, oh my god, I have to stop the water. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Guys, I just had the perfect idea. Guys, if you wanna buy any of the intern's bath water, I'm selling it for only $20 a bottle. Oh my god, what can I put it in? Uh, uh, I'm gonna have to pour some of the Tori Bransky's makeup stuff out. It's only 20 bucks a bottle. You can buy it down description down below. You guys will absolutely love it. Intern bath water, order now. You can also buy Pizza Pixels shirts on my store. Uh, down description down below. Anyway, uh, let's go see what the next life hack is. So your little intern is playing with all of his toys, but he doesn't put them away and he slip on one of the cars. How ridiculous. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab some hot glue and one of their little cars and glue them to the bottom of a bin. And now you got yourself a portable toy bin. Wow, they can just dump it out and play with the bin. <laughs> those darn toys anymore. So the first thing I'm gonna need is a toy box or something like that. Uh, <gasps> I have an idea. Oh, what's up intern? I need Bro. to borrow this really quick. Bro. Thank you so much. Bro, come I'll be right on, back. Dude. Okay. Here we go. I actually found this furniture mover at the dump the other day and I can just put it right underneath my chest. Okay. Oh, this is gonna be a little bit harder than I thought. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh! And there we go. And now, the chest is on casters. I have the perfect plan. I'm gonna take out all the clothes. 
Just really pretend like I filmed a crazy craft and I had to make a crazy mess. The intern loves picking up my messes. It really is his favorite activity, trust me. And I know he's gonna be absolutely ecstatic when he sees this one. <laughs> Remember when I wore this all the time? <laughs> oh, I completely forgot we had peace, love, Wi-Fi beanies available. <laughs> Another thing in my merch store, I guess. Anyway. There we go. Looks good. The chest is nice and clear. We're looking pretty good. I'm just gonna go ahead and spread this around a little bit. That way the intern can really use this craft. And now if he wants to put all my stuff away, he can just roll this chest around. There we go. I don't wanna put away too much cause I need to leave that for the intern. Let's see how he feels about the new portable chest. Oh, hey intern. So I know how you absolutely adore picking up after me. So I made a whole new mess that you can pick up right now. Yeah, cause this is why I have my associate's degree. <laughs> Clean up after you, Ravi. Thanks for noticing. Anyway, come on, intern, check it out! It's this nice big mess, and I even put the chest on caster, so now you can roll the chest around all you want, and it's really easy to pick up the mess now, see? Wow, thank you, Ravi. You're so considerate. No problem, buddy. Thanks for cleaning up. I know you really enjoy this job, and uh, this is your favorite part. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. You're doing a great job there, buddy. I hope. Hey guys, it's been about 15 minutes since I've seen the intern. How you doing there, buddy? Hey, but oh, I'm good. Just moving this concrete in. Oh my gosh, intern, you scuffed your boots from moving the concrete. I'm so sorry, dude. This is all my fault. Yeah, it is. It really is. It's okay. I'll make it up to you. I have the perfect life hack. I'll be right back. So you're going outside and you're like, oh my gosh, there's a nick in your boots. So what you're gonna wanna do is get a crayon pencil and just draw over it and boom, it is now a fixed boot. Good as new. Don't need to buy new boots. Your friend's parents will not make fun of you because your shoes are messed up and call you poor. Let's see if this one works. So we just go ahead and grab our crayons. Uh-huh. Okay, now that we have our crayons, I'm just gonna select, oh wow, the black even popped out, that's perfect. Oh, intern, I have the perfect solution to your scuffed boot. Yeah, what is it? It's this crayon, it's the perfect solution. I'm just gonna draw on your boot and you'll never notice that scuff ever again. Sounds good. Okay, so here we go. I'm just gonna be a professional boot draw on her. It seems to be working, intern. This looks fantastic. Yeah, I didn't expect this one to work. I'm just waxing your boot and not only is it uh, scuff resistant now, it's also water resistant. So this is what it looked like before and this is after. So I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Yeah, it does. Thanks, man. Enjoy your unscuffed boot, intern. Hey guys, I think the intern's a little cranky-wanky, so I'm gonna get him a little snacky-wacky, you understand? So go over to my little fridge and the only thing I have is light yogurt, okay. Hey intern, how you doing there, little guy? Uh, you want some yogurt? Sure, uh, I don't have anything to eat this with though. Oh, uh, my bad, here, I'll be right back, I'll get you something. Guys, I have the perfect hack for this one. So your little intern is just getting so messy with some yogurt, and you're like, oh, there has to be a better way. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab a straw and just poke it straight into your yogurt, and boom, they can just suck it out with a straw. It's the perfect solution, you're never gonna have a mess again. Just throw away the entire thing when you're done. Don't even worry about it. You're good. Let's see if this actually works though. So we're gonna go ahead and grab our straw. Boobity boop. Perfect. Hey intern, can you hold this for me? Perfect. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is just, there you go. It's a perfect way to consume your yogurt. It's a strawberry. You know I love how much I like strawberries. I do. I really hope it's not expired. How is it intern? It's good, but is this like, Lactose free because I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah, little Tiffy says he can eat frozen yogurt. Do not believe it. Oh, yeah, totally. <gasps> oh my god, guys. Not only is it expired, he's also lactose intolerant. Oh my god, I messed up. Robbie, I'm right here. <gasps> Okay, Darren, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna take that back. I'll get you another snack. I'll be, uh, have a good day. Okay, guys, so I know that the intern absolutely loves snacks and he always looks at mine and he gets so jealous. And I have this big old box of Domino's brownies, but I really don't wanna share them with him today, okay? Uh -huh. And that's why I have the perfect plan. So you're eating your chocolate and all of a sudden your kid comes out and they're like, I want chocolate, where the heck's my chocolate? And you're like, I can't be given you this chocolate. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna go to In-N-Out and you're gonna let us wrap that bad boy. Boom. Killing two birds with one stone. Your kid will never eat this. And also, you're eating healthy. Look, there's lettuce wrapped around it. It's kind of healthy, okay? Even though that lettuce is like 90% water. <laughs> 
I'm just gonna take these delicious brownies that I have left and hide them in my turtle's food. I don't think the intern would wanna eat this at all. He's not really a salad kind of guy. So here we go. Just put the brownies right in my Tupperware container, right at the bottom. Then I put my turtle's food straight over it. And there we go. It is hidden from the intern. Let's go try this out. Oh yes, you're just being a good little intern and working and doing your thing. Don't mind me, I'm just having a nice delicious lunch. Don't worry about me in turn. Bro, that salad's hard. Yeah, you wouldn't want this salad. It's pretty disgusting. They have these weird brown croutons, not good. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seems a little burnt. No, this is, they overcooked my salad by a lot. That sucks. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. The intern didn't suspect a thing. Probably what works? Uh, nothing. I'll see you later, intern. So you have a nosy little intern, and they're just going through all your stuff, and they find your secret stash. Oh, those are my snacks. So what we're gonna wanna do is grab a shoehorn and just use it to block all your drawers, and now they can no longer access your secret stash. Let's see if this one works. Okay guys, so I don't really own a shoehorn, and I don't really have a drawer that I could shove a shoehorn in like that, but I do have this door that I don't want the intern to go out of, and leave forever after he quits. And also these boards, so I guess I'll just board up this door so he can never leave. It's honestly the perfect plan. Uh, here we go. And one more for good measure. This ought to do it, that ought to do it. No little interns can escape now. Okay guys, so it's about 6.30 p.m. Uh, that means that the intern is about to clock out and leave any minute. I'm just gonna go ahead and hide this camera here so the intern can't see it. We'll see if this one works. I'll go ahead and hide down here too. Bro. Dude. Robbie. Bro. Don't worry, intern. Now you can never leave. You'll never leave me again. I don't want you to leave, intern. I don't want you to resign. I'm gonna be late for my vacation, bro. Get me out of here. Wait, what do you, wait, 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 what do you mean vacation? You said you were gonna leave in two weeks. You said you need a two-week resignation. No, I, I put in my two-week notice for my vacation, not my resignation. Oh! Gosh, this all makes so much sense. No, dude, I'm serious, bro. <laughs> you said that you needed two weeks for your vacation, not two weeks for your resignation. Yeah, no, I, I can't afford to lose my job right now, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, but I, like, I can't afford to lose my vacation either, Robbie. Wait, so you haven't been ignoring me all day? No, I was getting ahead of my work for the next two weeks. Oh my gosh, intern, I am so sorry. I, I'll let you go for your vacation, okay, buddy? No, dude, I'm just gonna leave the... Just what? Oh, okay, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Uh, I'll see you later. Um, just see yourself. Just see yourself out that door. Uh, well, I'll see you later. Guess I... Ugh. Oh man, now I gotta clean this up myself! Or I guess I could always take the doggy door too. Whew. Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Let's over this fight right down there. I make videos every single Saturday, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to check out my last video and subscribe to Robbie Clips and Robbie Reacts. Okay guys, I love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward ending. Okay, bye! <laughs>
It's Hair Jordan, ah, the, the new f intern. Wait, what? Yeah, I got, I got you a brand new special shirt. You're the new intern now. Remember we talked about it on the phone? I don't remember that part oh. of the deal. Uh, okay, well anyway. <laughs> What the heck, dude? <laughs> yeah, you don't need this shirt anymore. <laughs> Come on, uh, I'll walk you to the couch to be the new intern. Yeah, just go ahead and just sit down right here on the couch. You don't actually have to do anything, uh, Hair Jordan. To wear this shirt. Yeah, your only job is to sit here on the couch. I pay the intern a lot of money to do this. I didn't get you paid. A, he is an unpaid intern. I pay him a lot of money. You pay him uh, now? We'll talk about your salary later. Uh, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so you just got home, and now you're putting away your groceries. I don't really know. You got some bananas, you got some chips, you got some ice cream. Oh, Baskin Robbins, a cult classic. Put your ice cream in the fridge. Okay. Who puts their ice cream in the fridge? Don't you put it in the freezer? That's gonna melt so fast. This girl's gonna melt her ice cream. Her roommate's like, why you put all these signs on here saying don't touch? I'm gonna teach you a lesson. You can't tell me what to do. So she goes and eats all the ice cream. Nom, 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 so good. But then she's like, oh no, I ate it all. So what is she gonna do? <laughs> instead of replace the ice cream, she's just gonna put some dried mashed potatoes instead. Just pour in all the mashed potatoes. Put in some hot water. And some food coloring. Mix it all together. Oh my gosh, that looks just like ice cream. Wow. Tasty. This is honestly the perfect prank. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is some dried mashed potatoes. A little bit of food coloring. And last but not least, some ice cream. I'm getting ice cream from my real kitchen because I don't have ice cream in my fake kitchen. Oh yes, that ought to do it. Meanwhile. Yeah, I am not wearing this. <sighs> Much better. Now we have to dump out all the ice cream. This feels very wasteful. Ah, maybe I should just eat it instead. Okay, now that works. Yeah, I definitely think I'm just gonna eat it all. Oh, oh my god. Oh. Mm -mm. Mm. And there we go, it's nice and empty. No way, see? I didn't even need this trash can. Oh no, 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 no! Okay, now it's time to make some potatoes. Okay, what do we have to do? We have to add some milk, water, potatoes, butter. Oh my gosh, there's so much that's going into this. I'm not making completely normal potatoes here. We're just really gonna guesstimate all of this and just... Why is packaging so hard to open? There we go. Yes! Just a full tub of ice cream. I think it says here that I have to add uh, hot water. Okay. A boobity boo. A boobity boo. I'm sure that's good. Where did my stand go? Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to use this blowtorch instead. We're good! A boobity boo. And I thought this would be a great opportunity for us to try out our old friend, the Mixatron 5000. Oh, there we go. Ah! This is so hot still. This is still boiling water. Oh! My gosh, that's so mashed potato-y. Nope. Ah! My lens is so steamed up. It's so hot, I can barely even hold this ice cream. <laughs> ah! Ow! Ow! Oh my gosh. Oh, ooh, ooh. Okay guys, let's go try this one out on Chris. Oh, okay guys, so Hair Jordan is hiding right over there. Oh gosh, this ice cream's still very hot. They never said to actually cool it down. Okay, let's go prank him. Hey, hey, Jordan! Yo, what's up, Jordan? Uh, I got you this nice, hot German ice cream. Uh, here, try it. Yeah, it's, it's really hot. Yo, oh, dude. Yeah. No, yeah. Ooh, oh, yeah. Come on, try it. It's really... Bro. Ow! Bro. Ow! Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yo. Okay. 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 Oh, I didn't get you a spoon. I forgot the spoon. <laughs> Yo. It's just, I was just so concerned about it being really hot. Ah! Ah! Okay. Oh! Stop. Try it. It's not a real thing, bro. Ah! Hot ice cream is not real. It's so good. It's so good. Are you gonna try or what? For you, Alan. All right. Ooh. Oh, 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 bro. Oh, oh, oh. Dude, what? Are you been? Yeah. Yeah. 
This wasn't ice cream, this was mashed potatoes, Chris, the entire time. I had a hidden camera guy! Why do you put it in the freezer? You burned my tongue. You burned your tongue. You've been pranked. <laughs> okay, guys, well, I guess I'll be to say that this one works. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Wait, wait, uh, I need to use the kitchen really quick. I'll be right back. Uh, just stay here. Bro. Um, I'm gonna go prepare the soap. Gross. Okay, guys, so for this one, you're gonna need some soap and some nail polish. Oh, she's excited for this one. Just go ahead and put the nail polish all over the top of your soap. Go ahead and let that dry for a little bit. Then when your friend goes to wash their hands, the soap won't work. They'll be so frustrated. They'll be like, why is the soap broken? The soap is broken! They'll never suspect it, and it'll make them so angry. Okay guys, so here's our soap, and here's our nail polish. All we gotta do is just put nail polish all over this bad boy. There we go. I'm just gonna pour it all over. Oh yeah, that should really do it. Just make sure to get the nail polish all over your soap. Nail polish is very expensive, so you're only using one bottle for this, so this is, regardless, still a very expensive prank. Get your soap exactly how you like it, and now we just have to let it dry. Okay guys, now that our soap is dry, we're just gonna go ahead and put it right over here. Uh, you go ahead and hide behind the counter, and now I just have to call in Hair Jordan. Oh, Hair Jordan! Yo, dude, am I finally allowed to wash this crap off? Yeah, here? come to my kitchen. Sorry, I just needed to do something really quick. I was just, mm -hmm. you know, tidying it up. It was very messy. You never um, care about that. I know. I Come on, man. Uh, anyway. It look clean, um, though. Yeah, here you go. Enjoy this. It is still kind of a little dirty. So I told you, I was trying to clean. Anyway, just enjoy yourself. Do your thing. Okay. How's it going, Chris? Bro, I think your soap's broken. What? Are, are, is, are your hands not getting clean? No, they're not. That's so weird. What did you do to the soap, dude? What did I do with the soap? Well, yeah, what did you do? You've been pranked! <laughs> <laughs> I put nail polish on the soap! Like, why? Were you just, like, bored or something? <laughs> Who does that? You put nail polish? Oh, 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 it's dirty! You threw it! Oh, it's dusty in there. I don't know how you didn't see this. The camera guy was right there. Oh. It's been like the second time in two minutes. Like, he's so hidden. I know, he's very hidden. Do you have any real soap? That was the last one. Okay, anyway, I'll see you later, Chris. Get back to work. Well, that's right, I work here now. <laughs> so your friend is outside waiting for you to be done with the restroom, and you're just like, oh, I hate being rushed. You're gonna go ahead and grab the toy cockroach that was conveniently right next to your toilet, and put them all over your toilet seat. Oh my gosh, so inconspicuous. Then when they go to use the toilet, they're gonna freak out because they'll see so many roaches. Unfortunately, I only have one roach on me, so it might work. Okay, guys, so it's exactly 419, and Chris goes to the bathroom every day at 420. I don't know why, it's so consistent. So I'm gonna get this cockroach, and this one actually, <laughs> it vibrates and it moves in the sink. Look, oh my God. <laughs> okay, oh my God, it's almost 420. Okay. Right here. What's up, dude? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about me. Yeah, do your thing, man. Oh, it's 420, I gotta pee so bad. Yeah. <laughs> no! Dude. You're right! No! Dude. Try it! Stop. It's really good! Stop. It's really good! Get that out of your mouth! No! Try the cockroach! Why it's is really there a monster it's in really your good. bathtub? No! Get that away! That's probably how I got the cockroaches. Here, Chris, try it! Oh, you're <laughs> screwing it on me! Dude. Chris! This is, this is a fake cockroach. It's fake. Calm down. See? Stop moving. Okay. We're good. Alright. You've been pranked! I guess we can say that this one works. This girl pulls cake, so I guess she has to go get this other girl a cake. It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. And this girl's like, okay, I'm gonna make you a cake. But she has other plans. She takes some cardboard and puts it in between some slices of bread. She cuts out the cardboard into little cake slice pieces. And then she goes, cardboard bread. And then you put shaving cream on the outside. And then just a little bit of shaving cream on top to really sell it. Add a little bit of food dye. Mix that bad boy up a little bit. How did it turn out so perfect? Did they mix it on the cake? Add a little bit of sprinkles. And then finally, the cherry on top. Now all you gotta do is Serve this perfect little piece of cake to your friend. Mm, delicious. They're gonna try it, and then when they go to eat it, it's not gonna be edible at all. 
They're gonna be eating the shaving cream and cardboard. Look at him! Look at him! Look how angry she is! This is the perfect prank to try on the new intern! Okay, guys, it's time to make Chris a sweet treat. One that he's surely gonna love, and it's definitely not a prank. So the first thing we're gonna need is some cardboard. And then I guess we just uh, kind of make a cake shape? Boom! Yeah, that's a perfect little slice of cake, but I'm gonna need a bunch of these. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead and trace them just like this. Yeah, that should about do it. Then we just give these bad boys a good old whack. And there you go! Don't need uh, this anymore. Now we go ahead and start putting this together. Then we grab some white bread, preferably stale. You don't wanna use new stuff. This is about four month expired bread. Honestly, it's the best bread. It doesn't even look bad. Why does it not look good? That's how you know it's good bread. It stays good for a long time. Oh, that does not smell good though. Anyway, so then we just go and cut the individual cakes out. And for that, I'm gonna go ahead and use a knife. It's not even a bread knife, just a normal old knife. Just a knifey knife. Cut it to the size of this triangle. Boop, boop, boop. Stack them. Cardboard bread. Cardboard bread. Cardboard bread. Oh, I wonder if I can do multiple at one time. That would have been smart. I should have done this from the beginning. Life hack. And now we have ourselves one very thick cake. And now we just have to add the frosting. And by frosting, I really mean shaving cream. Oh, boobity boop. Now I'm gonna put in some food dye. Oh yes, a beautiful blue frosting. That's how you know it's for me, it's blue. Now we're gonna get our cake and carefully put it on. Putting it on with a spoon. Here we go. Now I'm gonna carefully transfer his cake onto another plate. And there we go, a nice clean cake. Wait, I forgot you're not supposed to put frosting on the inside. Honestly, I think it's fine. I don't think he'll ever notice. Especially when I add the cherry on top. Looks good. <laughs> hey there, Jordan. What you doing? Dude, playing with the uh, Charizard. I just wanted to say I'm really sorry for everything that I've done, for all the birthdays I've missed, for all the Christmases I've missed, and also that prank as well. Uh, I, so I made you this cake. Are you for real? Yeah. Isn't it beautiful? It's blue like my hair. It is blue like your hair. Thank you, dude. I forgot to get a fork, so you're going to have to use your hands, unfortunately. Oh, big surprise. You know what? <laughs> That's all right. Dude, I appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. I, yeah, dude. Yeah. Cheers, man. Cheers. To friends. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get that away? No, no, here you go. Oh, oh, oh. Stop! It's in my nose, dude. What is wrong with you? Stop! I got you! You've been pranked! Oh, well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Stop! Oh my god, dude! You're blue like me! I'm not like you. Whoa, this cut deep. This cut deep. Okay, I'm gonna go. I gotta go. Okay, guys, so you're just hanging out with your friend, and then all of a sudden, some random guy just comes in. He has his legs up on the counter, being so rude. How dare he? So you're gonna take some revenge and make him look fabulous at the same time. You're gonna get a wax strip, kill that bad boy, and stick it right on their leg when they're not paying attention. You're just gonna be like, what? What did you do? Now I have to pull this off. Then they'll be forced to rip it off themselves. It's honestly the perfect prank. I can't wait to try this one out on the new intern. <gasps> okay guys, so Herr Jordan actually fell asleep and he's supposed to be working. He is the new intern after all. So I'm gonna give him an extra painful prank. <laughs> so just reach in. I got some wax strips here. Just have to carefully pull up his pant leg. So now we get our wax strip. Just this bad boy apart. <laughs> Guys, I've waxed my legs so many times and this hurts so bad. Ready? Extra careful. Okay guys, I'm gonna do it on three. Ready? Three. Two. One. <laughs> <laughs> what is 
Is it Chris? Yo. Oh, is there something on your leg? I don't know. Is there? Oh. I had this dream that I was. Oh, I had this weirdest dream. I thought a dog bit my leg or something. Oh no, it was me. I what put a wax strip on your leg. Oh. Oh, that one got so much hair! <gasps> guys! Oh. Guys! My leg looks weird. Look at this! <laughs> Get your hidden camera, guy. Oh, we got so much hair! Oh my god! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works! That's what you get for falling asleep on the job. You're supposed you, to be the new intern. You said my job was to do nothing. <laughs> well, now you learned. <laughs> so for this one, you're gonna need a cup of water and a friend who's very thirsty. You're gonna take your towel while you're in the midst of a very hefty workout, and then you're gonna put the towel right next to their glass. Then when they go to drink the cup of water, they're gonna be like, oh, so refreshing. And you're gonna be like, I'm so glad that I have this cup that I can just wring my sweat into. Uh, uh, that's so gross. It's gonna be great. <sighs> okay, guys, so here's our towel. And the first thing we're gonna wanna do is get it nice and wet. Oh, yes. That's pretty good. And then we're also gonna put a little bit of sweat on my forehead to really sell this. <laughs> oh, let's do this, boys. Oh, hair Jordan! Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, hair Jordan. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm good, dude. Well, that's, you look. That's really dangerous. I gotta take that away from you. Wait, hey. Try hey. to stand right here, okay? Okay, buddy. Have you drink of water today? I like fire better. <laughs> Come on, buddy. All you've drinking is Monster. I just went on a 16 mile run and I just drank so much water. Did you? Uh, I did. Um, so I thought my buddy Hair Jordan needs to drink some water. <laughs> Does it taste funny, Hair Jordan? No, it tastes like water. What? It's not even a little bit salty. No. Well, that's weird, cause it's my sweat! Oh! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, dude! Isn't There's it great? No way. What, you don't There's drink sweat? I no. drink sweat that's, all the time. That tastes like water. There's no... Oh! Stop, dude. Oh, this water. really is awful! Oh! I know. Ah, just kidding, Chris. This wasn't sweat at all! It was water. It was a prank. Oh. That's what I thought. You've been pranked! Wow, that's great, dude. Well, can I have Charizard back, please? Where? Yeah, just, okay, don't, just don't. You can have it, just be really, no, stop, 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 stop. Here, I'm taking my lighter. Oh, no, no! Oh, gosh, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this guy. For this one, you're gonna need a friend who's eating some chips and some Nutella. What you're gonna wanna do is take the Nutella and just put it in the top part of the bag. Ooh. Then when your friend goes to grab a chip, their hand's gonna be completely covered in Nutella. It's gonna be all over their face. Honestly, what a great prank. Oh, you guys, so here are our chips. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over. Oh, yes. Then we get some Nutella and just, ooh, grab a little bit of that and put it right inside the bag. There we go. Flip it over. Okay, guys, let's go try this out on Chris. Oh, hey, Hair Jordan. Yo, what's up, dude? Nothing much. I just know that you've been doing such a good job, and to reward you, I got you some of these Doritos. Thank you. Uh, what's wrong with them? Nothing. They're fine. Why are you eat one? I will. I'd like to see this. Mmm. It's delicious, Steve. Yeah, have one. All right. You just saw me eat one. I did. I did. Thanks, man. Yeah, I do like what you've done with the place. What? Nothing. You like it? Dude, you're being it. weird. I'm not being weird. You've been being weird all day. I'm not being weird. You just like it. acting. Oh, normal. you dropped one. Five second roll, bro. So strange. <laughs> anyway, okay. You have a good one, buddy. Oh, you leave them? <laughs> no, you can stay here. I'm gonna. I'll see you. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. Bye. For this one, you're gonna have to pretend like you're doing some kind of crazy TikTok challenge where you have to drop the coin into a funnel. Wow, so easy, right? You show your friend. They're like, okay, I'll join you in the TikTok shenanigans. But little do they know, you're pulling a prank. Oh my gosh, it looks like they wet their pants. This really worked for them. But will it work for the new intern? <gasps> okay, guys, so I'm gonna tell Hair Jordan that we're gonna do a little TikTok. I got the phone all set up. Hair Jordan! Yo, what's up, dude? Hey! What's up, man? Thanks for the chips earlier. No problem. I was just wondering if uh, you would want to play a little game, um, a, do a little TikTok. So the whole thing oh, is, sick. yeah. So I love TikTok. Okay, you put this in your pants just like this, okay. and then you put this on your forehead. Oh, but you have oh, to try and get it in the coat. It's do, actually impossible. I can do that. No one's no, been able no, to no, do no. it. Here. Yo, I can do it so much better than that. No, yeah. Dude, I, I totally believe you. Are, are you recording? 
On the phone? Okay, we're good. Ready? We're recording. Go for it. All right, all right. Here we go. Okay, put it under your forehead. Well, not only did I get it for the TikTok, I also got it for YouTube! Double social media pranks! <laughs> Yo, dude, it looks like I peed my pants. Yeah. This is embarrassing. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I need to go take a shower. Yeah, go shower off. Oh my god, guys, I have the perfect prank to do on Hair Jordan. I have to beat him to the bathroom. So for this one, you're gonna need your roommate's towel. They're... STUPID ANNOYING TOWEL! That you're gonna use to prank them with. You're gonna go ahead and grab some flour and just sprinkle it all over your roommate's towel. Make sure they have a white towel, that way it blends in. I don't think it'll work with other colored towels. Then just go ahead and fold it up inconspicuously. That way when your roommate goes to wash their face and dry off, they're gonna have flour all over them! <laughs> Sorry! Occupied! Robbie, come on! Robbie! It's a good thing I always keep flour in my bathroom. My pants to be exact. What the Dude, hell? Give me a second! You made me look like I peed my pants. Don't make me wait like this. Oh, Robbie! Okay. Oh, perfect. Anyway, have a good time. You. I'll see you later. 11 minutes later. Okay, guys, he's probably gonna come out any minute. <laughs> Robbie! <gasps> oh my gosh. What did you do? This is not okay. <laughs> well, guys, if you like the video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Looks like this part right down there. Make sure to subscribe to Hair Jordan's channel. You guys can click right around this area. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, you gotta take another shower. <laughs> okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi Fi. I'm oh, ready. <laughs> okay, bye. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And recently, the intern went on vacation, so I hired my good buddy, Hair Jordan, to be the brand new intern. So today, we're gonna be trying pranks from the video. Switch it up! Prank your friends and teacher. 13 best school pranks for funny situations. Can, can you bring it in a little bit more? Perfect, thank you. Switch it up! Funny prank! Uh, okay, now you're in the shot. Okay, you're not a good ca- okay, okay. New camera guy, he doesn't really understand. Today, we're be trying pranks for the video. Switch it up. Prank your friends and teacher. 13 best school pranks and situations. Why are you moving it so much? <gasps> anyway, guys, we're just gonna be trying some crafts by Crafty Panda. Let's do this. So for this one, you're gonna be making your friend a very special gift. But little do they know, it's actually a prank. <laughs> what you're gonna need is some sprinkles and melted milk chocolate. You get a cheese ball, fondue it into the chocolate. Then you fondue it into your sprinkles, let it cool down, maybe put a few more sprinkles, and Boom! It's the perfect prank. They'll never expect it. They'll think they're eating a delicious cake pop, but they're actually eating a cheese ball. Okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is some chocolate. Now we don't need this much chocolate, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy up. And then I'm gonna throw it in a little mason jar. I have to cut it up some more. Ha ha! Looks pretty good. Now let's toss this bad boy in the microwave. Oh, it's not plugged in. Up, booby boo. About one minute, I'll do it. Up, booby boo. Oh, yes, yeah, nice and melted. Maybe another minute. <laughs> Okay, now that we have our ow, now that we have our molten hot chocolate, I only burnt it a little bit. We go ahead and grab our cheese balls. Make sure to really spill the chocolate everywhere. It's really important to the craft. Anyway, we grab our cheese balls and just carefully dip them in the chocolate. Oh yes, that's a very nicely covered chocolate ball. Then we grab some sprinkles. I'm putting them on a plate so I can just pull them out and dump them right onto the sprinkles. And I'm gonna use a little toothpick to get it all over there. Oh yes. Oh, this truly looks like a beautiful little cake pop ball. So proud of that. Put it on some parchment paper to cool off. And now I just have to make a bunch more. There we go. Oh no, I dropped my toothpick in there. I'm a mess. 
Mmm, white chocolate cheese balls. My favorite dessert. Just dump them all onto your sprinkles. Boom, 10 at one time. This could not go wrong at all. There's no way that this could possibly go wrong. Okay, now that our balls are cooled off, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in this fancy mason jar. Boopity boop. Ah, guys, I made way too many balls. Way too many, look at that, oh, overflowing. I might as well try one of these. Mmm, what a deliciously inconspicuous cheese ball. Mmm, <laughs> it's actually not that bad. It's throwing me off a little bit, but cheese and chocolate? I think Chris is gonna like this, actually. This isn't a prank, this is a proper gift. Mm. What? Come on! Well, let's go try this bad boy out on Hair Jordan. <gasps> oh, Hair Jordan! Oh, hey, what's up, dude? How you doing, buddy? What are you, man? What are you, uh... What are you uh, doing? Making some lunch. Some uh, hot oranges. You ever had that? No. Oh, it's pretty good. I'll make you some. Uh, no, it's, it's okay. I just wanted to say you're doing such a great job as the intern. So I made you this nice and nutritious snack. I made you some cake really? pops. Yeah. Oh. Thank you, man. No problem. I love cake pops. Yeah. How is it? Way better than hot oranges. You can have them if you want them. Thanks, dude. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. He actually liked him. What a weirdo. For this one, you're gonna need a bowl, some soda, I'm guessing baking soda, food coloring, lens fluid. <laughs> it's so funny how they call it that. Go ahead and mix it all together until it looks like this. Ew! Ugh, it's so ew. It's so goopy and slimy. You take whatever this is and put it on your homework because you don't need that anymore. Look, it already kind of ruined the papers. I think the whole, why, at that point, why don't you just pour the actual coffee on it? It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, you make it look like you spilled coffee all over your teacher's homework. It's a teacher in this case, but otherwise we're gonna be pranking the intern. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is some baking soda and something to put the baking soda in, of course. I'm really bad at opening boxes, guys. And that's exactly why I'm gonna use my knife. Ah! That is how you open baking soda. Un improperly, that is. You don't do that. Then we get some assorted food dye. I'm guessing it's gonna be a mixture of red and green. Cause we're just trying to make brown here. Trying to make some brown. <laughs> Mix it all together. And that is not changing color whatsoever. I guess I have to add more food dye, I guess. <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and add the lens solution. Just get it all in there. Oh my God, guys, it looks like Christmas. It's gonna be a shitty Christmas. Just kidding. It's an inside joke, guys. One time my little brother pooped in a bag and gave it to my dad for Christmas. <laughs> What a guy. The night before he was running around, he was saying, it's gonna be a poopy Christmas. Wow, that is becoming very brown. But is it gonna become slime? Oh yeah, that's looking uh, very, <laughs> very much like poop. Now, I don't really drink coffee, guys, but I do like to drink a nice, ice-cold, refreshing Coca-Cola. Not sponsored, by the way, uh, but Coca-Cola, if you ever wanna sponsor me. I'm gonna put it in a cup because I need this to be empty. Oh yes, there we go. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a funnel for this. Um, you know, there's no need to make a mess, you know? This is already a very messy craft. Yes, there we go. This might take a while. <laughs> Ew, that looks so gross. This does not look like Coca-Cola. I'm just gonna let this uh, kind of siphon into there for a little bit and by the time we're done, hopefully we'll have an ice cold refreshing slime cola. Okay guys, it's been like an hour and that's how much uh, came out. This stuff is extremely thick and uh, I think I'm just gonna have to squish it all in. Mmm, yummy. Okay, the spoon just broke. You know what, this is probably good enough. Uh, let's go try this bad boy out on Chris. Okay guys, Air Jordan is right over there. Uh, it's almost that time of the day where he goes to the bathroom, so I'm just gonna sit here and kinda wait. Or it's morning, time to pee. <sighs> He left his laptop right here. And now, I'm just gonna go ahead and carefully. Oh, that's way more liquidy than I remember. <gasps> 
I think I might have actually just ruined his laptop. Maybe just put some of this slime. Oh gosh. Oh, there's even a fly. Perfect. You're hired. No, I'm kidding. Okay, perfect. Um, oh, what do I even do with this? Oh god. Uh, uh, oh. oh, I hear him coming. Oh my god, guys, he's coming back. No, Yo, hey! Hey! Oh, who did this? Oh, all right. Who is in here? Who is in here? Hey, Jordan, what did you do? I didn't do anything. This I was is company bathroom. property. What did you do? Yeah. yeah, well, somebody in the company just spilled diarrhea coke all over the laptop you gave me today. You did this? No. So this was in your possession? No, I was in the bathroom. It was 420. You know that. <laughs> Were you in here? No, I was. Well, I mean, I was. I was in my. In my okay, so I was in my corner. Who else? Like, who else was in here? What did you see? A ghost? <laughs> you did this, dude. <laughs> You've been pranked. I did it the whole time. Why would you do that? Did you hire me just like so you could mess with me? Is that, that what this is? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, you're doing a pretty good job, this. Okay, now uh, clean that up. That's a real laptop. You are the intern, after all. I hate cleaning. Okay, I'll see you later. Have fun with that. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna need a stack of papers. I don't really know where they got this. I think it might be the dollar store or something. Anyway, you're gonna put some double-sided tape on it and just slap it on your friend's seat. Then when they go to sit on it and get up, it's just gonna be stuck to them. What, they got a tail. Oh my gosh, how hilarious. Okay, so they didn't really explain how to make this thing, so I am just gonna wing this. I got some construction paper here, and <laughs> I'm sure it couldn't be that hard. First thing I'm gonna do is uh, order this paper so that it looks nice and fun. We're all about that fun life, you know? Just order the paper, order it online. I definitely got the order wrong already. I established rules and I broke them almost instantly. Okay, that should be good enough. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy in half. Looks good. And they had kind of like a fancy design, but I'm gonna leave it exactly like this. We have almost like a flip book thing going on. I'm gonna grab a little stapler and then we just interlock them just like this. I haven't used a stapler since I was 12 years old. There we go. I think I might've broken my stapler. Eventually. Okay, we're gonna try this again. There we go. So we stapled it to this side. Then we're gonna staple these bottom two together. Yeah, that definitely looks like what we're going for. Okay, now I just gotta do that with all of these. This is gonna take a sec. Okay, we got it all together. That's so cool! Whoa! Look how long it is! <laughs> now let's go try this one out on Chris. Come on here, Jordan. I need you to start working again. Uh, just sit down right on that chair. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, man, just uh, get to work. We have a lot of work to do. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, one more thing. I need you to go upstairs to the attic and get me 16 pounds of macaroni. All right. Chop, chop. Where is it? <laughs> it actually works. I like your tail, Chris. No. Dude, that is so cool. Oh. You've been pranked. That's not a bad one. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. <laughs> so for this next one, you're gonna need an ice cold refreshing cup of Coca-Cola and some toothpaste. Insert the straw into the toothpaste and then put your lid right back on. And then you're gonna go ahead and give it to your friend. And when they expect a big old mouthful of Coca-Cola, they're gonna get a big old mouthful of toothpaste instead. <laughs> okay, guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is something to put this concoction in. Then we're gonna take the straw and shove it in some toothpaste. Then I'm gonna put the toothpaste right in there. And then we have to make it convincing. You know, he can't be holding it and he's like, oh, this isn't filled with liquid. So we're gonna get a nice ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola and just dump it right in there. Oh, yes. Good, good. Oh, it's funny because I'm gonna tell him it's lemonade. Oh, here, Jordan. Hey, what's up, dude? Hey, buddy, you're doing a really good job digging that hole. This is a really important job and I really appreciate you uh, doing this. Yeah. Um, I got you some lemonade, oh, uh, dude. freshly squeezed. I bet that's gonna be oh, thank super you so refreshing. Much. No problem, no problem. There's a seed stuck, it's really thick. <laughs> oh, what? Is this mint? Minty? Yeah, it's, a, it's, it's special mint lemonade. It's really thick. I don't think this is... 
That's not lemonade, dude. What is this? It's toothpaste. Why would you give me toothpaste? <laughs> There's a I whole tube of toothpaste. I'm thirsty. <laughs> I'm sweating. Okay. What is this? Can I drink that? Ew. Oh, yeah. Oh, I don't want to drink that. No, I don't trust it. Never mind. I just want something for real to drink. You've been oh. pranked. Oh. <laughs> this. Actually not a good, was the hole a prank too or do you actually need the hole? I don't actually need the hole. Do, do I, you didn't have to have me dig for an hour. You could have just like, had a, we could have set this up better. Okay, good one. You only got this far in an hour? Yeah, I'm, I'm lazy, dude, I'm lazy. Okay, well. Keep digging your hole. Oh uh, no. That's your punishment. <laughs> Okay guys, so your friend is going, ah, oh, my eye! So you bring in your frightened friend, but little does he know, you're actually in on it. So you're gonna go and pretend to suck whatever's in their eye out. Your friend's gonna be so disgusted, they're gonna pretend like they're all better, and you're gonna pull a fat toothpick out of your mouth. Oh, was that stuck in your teeth? Mmm, what a great prank! <sighs> okay buddy, so exactly how we rehearse. Are you yes. ready? Yes. Okay, perfect, here's my toothpick. I'm just gonna go ahead and Oh, God. <clears throat> oh, hair Jordan! Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, dude! Team oh, meeting? my God! Break time? What? No, no, something. What? He hurt his eye. What happened? Listen to him. He's, in my eye. he's crying. Why? What happened? Did you get pranked? He, no. He was drilling something, he and just that. something came out, and it hit him in the. Oh, my God. Here. I know this trick, though. I, I, I need you to stand by, just in case, okay? Okay. You okay, ready? Yeah. Hey, whoa, yo. That's not how CPR works. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> 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 Oh! I sucked it out of his eye. Oh, you did not. I did. Oh! What the heck? Dude, <laughs> why would you? How would you? How did that? That flew in your. There's no way. Yeah? You've been pranked! What? Oh. Okay. All right. Now, now, now you're in on it too. Okay. I see how it is. You've been pranked. Yeah. I have been duped. Okay, now get back to work. <laughs> So for this one, once your friend falls asleep, all you gotta do is grab a mirror and put it right in front of them. Wait for them to wake up, and then they'll start freaking out! They'll be so surprised, they're like, who the heck is in front of me? It's a perfect plan. Look at, she really got him. <sighs> okay guys, so Hair Jordan has been taking naps underneath the sink. I think he's under there right now. <gasps> okay, this is perfect. We're gonna grab our mirror. All right. Grab our megaphone. What is that? What are you doing? <laughs> what have you done? You've been pranked! You, you, oh. That's what you get for taking naps on the job, buddy. Oh, I thought it was okay. I, oh. Wake up, Chris! Go. Wake up! Go away. <laughs> well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. So for this one, you're gonna need a piece of paper, some flour, some tape, and a trash can. Just go ahead and tape the paper into the trash can, just like this. Fold it down a little bit, and then you put some flour then when they go to open up their trash can, they're gonna get flour all over them! <laughs> the intern loves being covered in flour. Don't believe me? Check out my last video! But after this prank, cause it's gonna be a good one. So here's our trash can. Just gonna go ahead and open that up. Then we grab a piece of paper. Just go ahead and tape that in there. I'm gonna tape two of these together cause I think it needs to be a little bit longer. Boobity boo. Oh yes, that's much better. Stick some tape up here. Open our trash can. Stick some right there. Then we tape the bottom half of the trash can. Boobity boop. I'm sure Chris won't even notice this tape. And then we grab some flour. So we're just gonna really cake this on here. Make sure you get a full serving of flour. There we go. Oh man, I got flour all over the trash can. This should fix it. This fan isn't working at all. Okay, good enough. Okay guys, so his desk is way too clean. So I'm gonna have to make this kind of messy so he has to clean it up. I think I'm gonna need more paper. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. <sighs> Perfect. Oh, hair Jordan! So since you've been taking your little nap, uh, I kind of- uh, party, bro? Yeah, I kind of was writing down video ideas and I didn't like any of them. Clearly. Uh, all these ideas are just bad ideas, so I didn't like any of them. Robbie, all these are blank. Yeah, I have no no bad ideas. That's the point. Um, so wow, good one, good <laughs> so one. I need, to, I need you to clean up all these papers. You're getting them everywhere, man. I try to keep them on the desk. Anyway, as a new intern, this is your job. Clear up my desk. I'll see you later. This sounds like a bad video um, idea. All right, fine. Wow. No! No! Not again! No! Why with the flower? Flower prank! Alright. Alright. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this.
This one totally works. I hate this. Okay guys, so for this one, we're gonna need some tape and some scissors. All you really have to do is just wrap the tape around the scissors. And then you use another pair of scissors to cut them. Anyway, you put them back inconspicuously. And when they go to use their scissors, they'll be mildly inconvenienced. What a wholesome prank. Now, how can we use this on the new intern? Okay guys, so here are our scissors. Here's our tape. We're just gonna carefully tape up our scissors like we do. Just get it all on there. This is my taped up scissor technique. He's never gonna be able to get these off. Not without scissors. <laughs> it's an endless cycle, really. Okay, so now I need to make a reason for Chris to need these scissors. So I'm gonna tell him that we're gonna play a very classic challenge. It's gonna be the try to escape challenge. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and call him in and uh, we're gonna start this try to escape challenge. Oh, hair Jordan! Hey, what's up, dude? How's it going? It's going good. Oh, you dude. put your intern shirt on. I know, on. you know, I'm starting to like this role. Thanks for giving me the intern job. I That's awesome. That. Okay, so I was actually wondering if you would do a YouTube challenge with me. It's a very classic challenge. Come over here, come on. Okay, what is this? You might have seen it before. It's called the Try to Escape Challenge. I have the camera also. Yo, yeah! I made so many of these. I, I was recording the whole time. So basically, I'm just gonna tie you up and you have to try it. Yeah, yeah, I know this challenge. Oh, I love these. You sit, you sit on that side. I love this challenge. You just sit right over here. Like this? Um, yeah, just like this. Okay. Uh, uh, and Facing now, this way? Yeah, so I'm just gonna tie you up. Okay. Just like this. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, who's gonna tie you up? Uh, you tie me up after you get out. That's how it goes. That's not how I remember it, but okay. Um, yeah. Why do, you, why do you keep laughing like that, dude? <laughs> that's just how I laugh. That's, that's my I'm having a good time laugh. Oh, that is? <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? That's why I do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna wrap it around you. I'm really good at tying. I was a Boy Scout, you see. Yeah, I know. Yeah, actually, you're like the best knot tire I know. Yeah, I actually am, and I'm gonna go ahead and put in a little bow tie. Oh, nice Boom! Okay, Chris, you're nice and tied up. I'm gonna go ahead and start a timer. All right. Right now, go! Try to escape! <laughs> it's not that fun anymore. I can't get out. <laughs> You're good at this. I used a really good knot on him. I was a Boy Scout for like 12 years, so I really know my knot. <laughs> You're never going to escape, Chris. I think you're right. I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> well, it has been like an hour, so uh, here's some scissors. Yo, for you, buddy. thank you. Why are they taped shut? <laughs> You've been pranked. Okay, so give me some real scissors. You're never getting out. Okay, now say that was a prank. <laughs> now the now time he would. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. <gasps> help, dude, help, help. <gasps> help. Another intern? Oh my gosh, He's what a situation I've got myself into. Here's <laughs> Jordan, the intern. He gave me your job, but can you just untie me, though? Rob, am I still your intern? <laughs> <laughs> guys, make sure to subscribe and check out the next video. I'm going to put on a very special competition to see who's going to be the new intern. Just let me out. I don't know. Please. Okay, please. guys. I love you so much. I'll see you guys again no. real soon. No. I love it. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And in my last video, I had Hair Jordan as the new intern. And all of a sudden, the old intern walked in. So if you like to make sure I give it a thumbs up. <gasps> help. Dude, help. Help. So today, I set up a super special set of challenges for them. And all these challenges are from a little channel called Five Minute Crafts. So today, we're gonna be finding out who exactly is gonna be the new intern. And we got a very special contestant that I didn't tell you guys about. Come on in! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, it's Santa Claus! Yeah, we got Santa here! I guess Christmas came early this year, guys, am I right? Santa, tell them why you're here. Well, the pay at my old job is pretty bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and audition for this here intern position. Sorry, son, but I'm about to put you out of a job. <laughs> I like this guy a little bit more. <laughs> so now in the comments down below, tell me who you guys think the new intern's gonna be. Let's play some games. <laughs> okay, guys, so for this one, we're gonna be playing the Mystery Box Challenge. Basically, there's two holes. You stick your hand in one of them, and you either get a fantastic prize, or you get something not so fun. Whoa! Oh, she was so surprised. Doesn't this look fun, guys? I don't want to dip my hand in something I don't know, Robbie. That's me. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it. At least you can go first. Yellow. Okay, first up, some raw eggs and 200 bucks. Perfect. Okay, intern number two. Here, Jordan. Yeah, you're up, buddy. Me. So you got two holes. One here. One here. Okay, go for it. What you gonna pick? Mm. Right. Oh, what is that? You won raw eggs. Oh. <laughs> Next. This time, ravioli, 200 bucks. Intern number one. Mikey. Woo! Yeah. Okay, so you got two holes. Oh, you know what? I'm using my left hand. 
No way! Oh, oh. what, 200 bucks? Oh. Oh. Let's go! Okay, uh, thank you. Thank you. No, this, okay. Uh, yeah, you okay, but you won the round. Now we have some shaving cream. Come on, Santa. Let's go. It's gonna be Santa. Put your hand in one. I'm gonna go with good old Riley. Oh, oh my gosh, you won $100. Oh, wait, there's another one in No, here. no, no, no. It's only $100. Uh, Still uh, a I made sure to give Santa at least some prize money because I didn't want to make him mad. Okay guys, so the winner of the last rounds gets to go on to round two. Let's do some shaving cream. And we're gonna play it big this time. $6,000 right there. My entire life savings. Okay, enter number one. We get a second chance. Which one's it gonna be? I did left this time, so I'm doing right. Ew, what is this? It's so slimy. You make shaving cream. I didn't shave. Oh, this is gross. Okay. Okay, this last one goes to Santa. If he wins, he wins it all. So this time, I got a little bit of, mm, you guys know what that is. Thank you so much to my dog, Benjamin, for making contributions to this one. Okay, Santa, if you win this one, you win all the marbles. Not if, Robbie, we have it all left. Ooh. Ooh. No! Oh, oh. oh, you weren't supposed to win that. Okay, okay, uh, 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 here. I felt it. That was way more than 100. Oh, uh, you get 100 bucks. 200. Okay, yeah, 200. okay. That's not fair. Uh, he won. What? Oh, he won. No. 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 Give me some money. Come on, man. Guys, Santa won this round. No. <laughs> Come on. On to the next game. So for this next one, guys, we're gonna get a bunch of cups and we're just gonna put them in a random place. And then we're gonna blindfold someone and they have to walk through the cups without touching them. If they touch them, they lose. Oh. You just keep rearranging so it. So it's never the same. And you just be real careful and you walk through. So the person who gets through all the cups fastest wins. Woo! I'm excited. All right. Okay, first up is Santa. Okay, Santa, it's your time to shine. Go! Santa's coming in hot. Oh, he almost knocked over a cup. Oh, you're doing good, Santa. You're at eight seconds. Oh, oh, go, he's coming close. Oh, oh my gosh. 12 seconds, 13, 14 seconds, 15 seconds. Oh, 16 seconds. Come on, Santa. 17 seconds. Oh my gosh, he's done. 20 seconds. Oh my gosh, Santa. What a fantastic job. Beat that intern. But will the intern beat that? We're going to find out. Okay, intern number one, you're up next. Okay, you can start in three, two, one, go! Okay, intro number one, he's coming in hot. You're doing good. Oh, he's doing some dance moves. Good for yeah, you, intro. I felt you something. hit one, but you didn't knock one over. You're okay. so good, you're not disqualified. You're very close. Okay, intro, 12 seconds, 13 seconds. Oh! Oh my gosh! Intro number it? one, he's done! Oh. 17 seconds! Did I do it? I did it! Again. I did it! Uh, but will he beat intern number two? Okay, guys, up next we got intern number two. Your time to shine. Okay, ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Three, two, one, start. He's already off to a good start. All he needs to do is beat 17 seconds. He's already doing fantastic. He's over halfway done. He's at oh! Yes! like the color red. It looks like intern number one is the winner for this round. Woo! Yeah, the real intern, baby! Just this round. Okay. Next, we're gonna do a little drawing challenge, guys. We're gonna be drawing on one person's bed, and they have to basically draw whatever you drew on them. I Santa's <laughs> excited for this one. How could this one go wrong? Reindeer, all day. Reindeer, all day. This one's a real simple challenge, real wholesome. Look, she's drawing an ice cream cone, but he drew a rose. That is not a rose. <laughs> Up first, we have intern number one. Woo! Not wearing a shirt. Yeah, that's a challenge. Let's yeah. do it. Okay, intern number one, you ready? I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm gonna draw a very, yeah. very complex figure. You ready for this? We're looking pretty good so far. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Okay. One down. You ready? <laughs> this tickles. <laughs> you're doing good, Intern. It's very, very close to what I'm doing. Bro, you're taking up my whole back. Yeah, that's what I, I figured. I'm just doing a very, very simple drawing, you see. <laughs> One that anyone can understand. Okay. And, uh, you know, now this one's gonna be 
This is the simple part. Uh, I'm drawing some, uh, well, I can't even tell you. You'll know, you'll know. <laughs> okay. Okay guys, so this is how his drawing turned out, and uh, this was the original drawing. I'm not gonna lie, that actually turned out pretty close. Uh, no way, for real? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I drew a little guy holding a balloon. That's awesome, I'm gonna get this as a tattoo after this. Oh, please don't. Okay, intern number two, come in. Okay guys, intern number two here. You can do this, buddy. Yeah, I put a piece of paper because it's dumb to put Sharpie on your skin, you know? That is so smart. Yes. Smart. Honestly, dude, I'm giving you a point just for that. That's smart. Well, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> That's a thought. Dang it. Okay, you ready for this? Intro yeah. number two. Yeah. I'm going to start this one off. Really simple. Here you go. What? Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Good, good, good. Okay. <laughs> You're doing fantastic, honestly. I'm just doing a series of small symbols. <laughs> Okay, and I think that should be enough. You ready to see how you did? Yeah. Okay, intern number two. Are you ready for the big reveal? Yes. Here's how you did. I mean, not bad, but you still get a point either way. So good job, buddy. You're not a very artistic person, but that's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Anyway, great. Okay, come on, Santa. Okay, Santa, you are up. Um, I'm gonna draw something that is near to dear to my heart. You a minute, Santa. Oh. Okay, Santa, you're ready to see how you did. I think I aced this one, Robbie. Okay, so here's what I drew: a nice, ice cold, refreshing can of Coca-Cola. Oh. Um, you know, I absolutely love them. Mine was better. Oh, how did you get a Christmas tree and a reindeer? You said draw something near and dear to my heart. No, I was drawing something near and dear to my heart. But why is it a monster? No! Okay, I mean, okay, yeah. Santa gets a point for creativity. <laughs> Still in the baby. This point system is really weird. So for this one, we're gonna need four chairs, and then we're all gonna kind of lay like this, and then slowly we're gonna have someone come behind us, just pull all the chairs out, and we're all gonna support each other, we're all gonna love each other, we're gonna be like this forever. Doesn't that sound fun? Not really, I don't know how this uh, is gonna work. <laughs> this is really personal. Where's the challenge? Okay guys, so this is gonna be the ultimate team bonding experience. Even I'm gonna join in. Intern, you're up first. I get to lay on Robbie's lap, so I'm gonna get a point there for this. Go. There you go, my little intern. Okay, now it's my turn to sit in intern number two's lap. Cross my face. Mm, what? I did it um, for intern number one. I'm, no. Okay, okay, whatever, go, go next, I'm next, going back. next, Ready, next. We're good. Mm? My, be my belly's in the way. <laughs> Santa's you might need to adjust that way, huh? <laughs> Santa is used to having people on his lap. Okay, you guys ready? I'm gonna start removing chairs. Chair number one. <laughs> Remove! Oh my god! Oh! oh look at us go! Oh my god! Chair number two removed! <laughs> Yo, Chair number two removed! Bro. That's number three! Whoa! Okay! Oh, we're yeah. going to go here! Yeah. We did it! We all get a point! Yeah. Yeah. I get a point! Yeah. We all get a point! Yeah. Okay, how do we get out of this? Oh. <laughs> you can't be seen without your hat, bro! I think everyone broke everyone's oh. fall. I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. So next time on The Intern oh Games. Oh! 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 It's time to vote. Who's gonna be the new intern? <laughs> and the final vote goes to. <laughs> Subscribe! Last time on The Intern Games. I have here Jordan as the new intern. And all of a sudden, the old intern walked in! Another intern? Oh my gosh! Who exactly is gonna be the new intern? We got a very special contestant that I didn't tell you guys about. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god, it's Santa Claus! Oh. Yes, oh Time to vote. Who's gonna be the new intern? For this one, we're gonna get one egg. One jar. You guys are familiar with this game, right? Yes, one sure. egg, one jar. Okay, so then we have to slap it, slap it, everyone takes turns, and then you have to remove it right before the next person. That's the game. First person to slap the egg loses. No, that's messy. <laughs> We're gonna keep going until there's no more people left. Oh. Slap, 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 Okay, boys, round one. Oh, that was a good one, Santa. Oh, intro's going in. Oh, oh. So close. Oh. 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 Yes. Enter. Yes. You're just yes. qualified. Yeah. Get out of here. Get out. What? Get out. That's unfair. They Get out. Me. Round two. Go. <laughs> oh.
<gasps> Whoa! Ah, ah. Okay, okay. Look how cracked this egg. Wow. Mm -hmm. Whoa! <laughs> Guys, I think we're gonna need a new egg. <laughs> oh! No! Oh, it's all over me! Okay. Oh! Guys, I'd say that this round goes to intern number two. Self-disqualification Santa! The naughty list. I am the gift giver. <laughs> I gave this one to you. <laughs> Thank you. Now Everyone's joining the Olympics. The Coca-Cola Olympics. We're gonna be doing some Coca-Cola curling. Doesn't seem bad, seems pretty huh. easy. This one actually looks a lot right. of fun. That does look like fun. Hey, you're on a couple of those bottles. Whoa, Santa! And a couple of those teams. Santa, uh, I gotta know, how the heck did you get sponsored by Coca-Cola? I was there when it started. Oh my God. Those are your polar bears? Uh -huh. Goofy and sparkly. Okay, so up first is intern number one. Woo! Alright, we gonna roll it. We gonna roll it. I'm gonna be his brusher guy. Here go. I think it's also on an incline. Wow. Okay, can we? Wow. Did you get that? Did you get me doing it on the first try? It's possible, guys. Just to confirm, this is possible. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you one more. Try in turn number one. Okay. Do you think you can do it? Yes. Okay, ready? Yeah. Um, got this. Um, let's go. Okay. Okay. Good. You're doing good. Oh! You're almost there! Oh my gosh! That's two points for Andrew number one! You're doing it! You're making a great team! Alright. Okay, intern number two, you're up next! Right. You can do it in turn number two. Alright, I'm ready. Oh! And that's two points for intern number two! And I did it on my first try. Santa, you're up, man! All right, it's been a while since the Winter Olympics. Okay, Santa, I know you can do this. You've been around for how many years? 500? 600? I'm only 486. Okay, you've been around for this long. I'm sure you can do it. Come on, potential interns! Oh! Santa's already off to a rough start. Okay, I give intern number one a try. I could give my good old friend Santa a second try. Thank you, Nice Robbie. try, old man. Oh, oh here we go! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, it's on the two and the one! That's three points for Santa! Oh, it doesn't work <laughs> that way. They're just mad because Santa's winning. Here you go, guys. Another classic challenge. So you're going to be chilling on the couch. We're going to get a water bottle, put it between your legs, and you have to somehow get all the water into your mouth without spilling a single drop. Aww. Is it possible? I don't know. Can we do Maybe. it? I believe in us. Let's try it, guys. Okay, so intern number one. We'll go ahead and put your water bottle. Open her up. Okay. We okay. got this, intern. Cool. Okay, intern number one. Can you handle this? I can. I can. Let's do it. Okay, you're up. Go. You did not oh, do that. Wow. Good try. Maybe next time. It's, on my nose. it's, in, my, it's in my face. I don't think you got much water. Okay, intern. How much did you get in your mouth? I didn't get much in my mouth, but it's all up my nose. It's in your nose? Okay, oh, here. Uh, I'll just hold it up like this. Oh, oh my god. Whoa! That's a lot of water in your nose, intern. My God! Okay, so this much from intern number one. Oh, my head hurts so bad. Whoa! Okay, up next, intern number two. All right, ready? Okay, intern number two. Uh, you got a lot going on this. Santa is in the lead by one point, and the intern had a lot of water in his nose. So Here you go. One, two, three, go! Oh! Oh, oh what's that? Yeah, that's no way. no way I'm getting that in my head. <laughs> Sorry about that, man. I can't believe I accidentally got more oh, water. Got it. Sorry guys, I don't know what happened. Okay, okay, how much water did you get in your mouth? Oh no, I guess I'm really bad at that challenge. <sighs> Looks like intern number one beat me in this round. Oh yeah, I beat you in your face, hair Jordan. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm up. so sad about that. Okay, you're up next, Santa. What if it turns to ice? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Santa, you're up. You got this, man. Oh yes. Okay, Santa, hold that tightly in between your legs. You got this. Oh, I didn't see any come out. Santa, we didn't even see anything come out. Was your bottle even open? Santa, what did you? What the heck? Yo, 
on, give him the oh, thing. Oh, Santa, come on, come on, come on, Santa, get, Santa, spit Santa, it out. How much? Santa, come on. Spit it oh out. Oh my gosh, Santa. We don't want Santa to drown. Oh, oh gosh, oh, we're gonna need, give me a bucket, what? give me a bucket. Oh my gosh, oh, no, okay. no bucket, no bucket, give me a bucket, no bucket, guys. Oh, oh, don't worry, 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 that's impressive, Santa, but I can only give you a maximum score of five. So you get five points. Oh man, next time I'm saving that trip for the New Year's Eve party. Okay, so intern number one, you got two ounces. So for that, I'm gonna give you two points. Yeah. Okay, intern number two, how many did you get, buddy? I got nothing. What? Well, intern number two, you might not have gotten any water, but you got me the bucket. And for that, I'm giving you the max score of five points. Oh yeah. For the last challenge. Dang it. So, okay, guys, so we're all gonna lay on our backs and put our feet up just like this, like we're giving birth. And then we're gonna put a big old bucket of water right on top. And then, as a team, we're all gonna slowly remove our shoes. Um, because we don't need shoes anymore. Oh! Oh, yeah, what? <laughs> Me and Chris have colored hair. <laughs> okay, guys, so since we already have the bucket from the last challenge, we're just gonna use this. You ready? Everyone get in position. That water was in Santa's mouth. I'm not doing this. We'll start in three, two, one, go! Go! Ooh. 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 Oh my gosh, intern number one, you're so wet! Why'd you kick it at me? <laughs> okay, intern number one, so since you took one for the team, I'm gonna have to give you four points! <laughs> for real? <laughs> you did it! I did it? Yeah, but I'm gonna have to take one of those points and give him my good buddy, intern number two! Woo! You yeah. get one point! Why do I get a point? <laughs> you get a point because you don't let me push you around. And I respect that. Sounds good. Okay, now Santa, I'm gonna have to give you zero points because you did absolutely nothing. I'm sitting in water. <sighs> well, sorry man. Okay guys, and that means that everyone is tied. So, I guess there's only one more thing to do. be the new intern. I'm voting out Hair Jordan because I took his job once and I'm going to do it again. Gentlemen, uh, you all did a fantastic job. Now, we're about to read your guys' votes. I have no votes in here. Gentlemen, it's time to see who you voted for. One vote for Santa. One vote for Hair Jordan. Yeah. And the final vote <laughs> goes to intern number one. <laughs> it was a tie? You guys literally all voted for yourselves. You yeah. guys literally tied. I guess I get to decide who the new intern is. I'm gonna go with intern number two! You get the me? job, buddy! You, you did a me? great job! You're yeah. me for real. You did it! Sorry, Santa. I just need I just need this guy. He's a good guy. He did some great work. Oh my did a fantastic God, dude. job. What the heck? Alright, I'm I take I accept. I don't even want this job. Hey. This is hilarious. Yo, dude, I'd love to have the job. I would love to have the job, dude. Yes. Let's Alright, let's do it, man. <laughs> It's okay, intern number one. You did a great job uh, when you worked for me. Um, okay, you start on Monday. All right, I can't wait to. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. If you liked it, make sure you give a big old thumbs up. Look some of this fire right down there. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see what happens in the next video. Okay, guys, love you so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Awkward ending. Okay, bye.